Mm-hmm. They stink. What's up with y'all? How y'all doing? We're good. This sleepy. Day was a day. Taking off that sleep, but I'm, I'm good. Listen, um, John A, I do I need to put on some lipstick? You know, because I, I can go, I can get my purse. I think you look great. I I mean, you don't have lipstick on, Cornelia? No. Do, do it look like I got on a little? It look like I got something on? Look like that little sum. This Vaseline. Hold on. Hold on. There. <laughs> 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 she got welcome, on. welcome, welcome. As y'all come on in, go ahead and grab a seat, man. We're about to get started on this uh, new episode of Zoom with that. People home, are already man. sitting down, right? If they're at home. Kevin, don't, don't do what you're doing. This is the way I opened up my show. I mean, I'm just I, saying, I like, you. have you ever thought about what you're saying or you just be saying stuff? I said, like, we had a real show. Come on in, grab a seat. That's how I do it. Okay. That's First how I do. Don't I'm come. Don't come in. Attitude. attitude. I'm just asking. No, I don't like. Like, I don't like your tone, Kevin. Back. I didn't like your tone with it. Okay, you're here. I miss you. You okay? I am. I'm about to eat an egg sandwich. An egg sandwich, like, like boiled egg eggs. Salad sandwich, sandwich or just an egg? Just egg. How's the egg? egg? Don't eat it off camera. It's egg salad. Mm. No. Black people don't be doing egg salad like that. Fried fried egg like you. like you was gonna make a breakfast sandwich and you didn't have the rest of the stuff. So here don't care what happens to his stomach. He gonna eat what he wants to anyway. That's not true. I I very much care, but I woke up and I didn't have time to, to cook anything. This only thing I had time. There wasn't nothing Hello, in your thermal you. cage. What's I'm sorry, Johnny. What did you say, Kevin? I'm ignoring no. you, Johnny. What did you say? <laughs> you getting protein? That's important. <laughs> Hello to here. Hey, Angel, how are you? I'm good, how, how are you? I'm good. Kevin, what you drinking, a support? Oh, okay, I thought you was drinking. <laughs> a Sapporo? <laughs> Sapporo. Funny. I meant to say, um, what is it, Bex? The, the non Here, you know, you oh, know I don't drink no burr. You know I don't drink no burr. Angel, you just wake <laughs> up sure too? Oh, so we already oh, said nice. jokes. Girl. Girl. I, no, you, you, I mean, you look like you like fresh face, like you just did a like a facial or you just woke up and you didn't want to get makeup I, on. I like how you clean that up. <laughs> you right. like, oh, you it. It. That's right. right. Back, it's back stroking. That's okay. how right. I did it. I <laughs> wouldn't even throw no jokes like that. I wouldn't yeah, start. Right. I, would, I, would get, I would give you a chance to settle before I start with the jokes. Listen, no, I just was like, I ain't doing no makeup today. Today has been my relaxed day. The ladies are beat down, though. I see Janae. Listen, okay. Janae got me about to get my handbag, okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> where my purse? Only because I had on makeup earlier today. So this is just a retouch. I wanna, you I already, mean, y'all know me. I wouldn't have did all this. You look, both of y'all look gorgeous. I said, uh, y'all ain't getting a lash. Y'all, I think I put some moisturizer on my lips, and that was about it. That's all Angel. I can give today. Angel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's that's Kevin, just, what's your excuse? What you, what you say? I said, Kevin, what's your excuse? Why you don't look like a baddie? You just look like a fatty. Damn. <laughs> it's terrible. Hey, to hear. That's how you do your boy after everything we've been through. That's why I fired you. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> No, you want to go on dorm tame? You want to go on dorm tame TV? Why I got fired from all day? Laid off. Laid off. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You sent that video to me and Meg. Was like, what was the big things that were coming? (laughs) And then literally like ten minutes later, Rome hit me up like, yo, you got you want to do story time? I was like, I have the perfect story. (laughs) I Let just want to know why, why you lied to them people. That was so funny. You were like, you know, when black people say big things popping, we don't know nothening. nothing. Nothing's happening. <laughs> we had nothing coming. Nothing, we had nothing, nothing coming, world. man. The company was <laughs> falling apart. Really awkward. I feel like I'm on that episode of Fox Soul when Lisa Ray got surprised by the brat. Oh. Like, I feel this got like real, like, what are oh, y'all working out? Listen, I'll right. be Claudia, okay? I'll be Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> this got messy real quick, real quick. I didn't even this see what that. happened. Yeah, it was but it was ball. weird. When was that, John A? I think last I week. That was it was last week. It was um, Lisa Ray's birthday, and um, 
she was mad that the brat didn't tell her first that she had a girlfriend. So she, yeah, it was, you gotta, yeah, I'll send it to you. So. Are, are they cousins or sisters or something? Yeah, sisters. 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 Blood sisters. Hold on, the brat didn't tell Lisa Ray before he went on national news? She was, yeah, she found out yeah. from the vlogs and she was like hurt, you know? But- You know what's crazy yeah. is that she was actually hurt that the brat had a girlfriend. I, I just feel like that wasn't the brat's first girlfriend. Yeah. Right. Wait, was she hurt that the brat had a girlfriend or that she didn't know the brat had a girlfriend? I think it was both. I think it was both because she was insinuating. She was like, I could have, she was just like fussing like, you could have gave me the courtesy. And then the brat was sitting there like, <laughs> like literally like, the whole time. Everybody, it was awkward. She cussed everybody out. On her birthday. Is, is Lisa Ray older than the brat? I think yeah. Yeah. Lisa, Lisa Ray was going off. The brat was like this with a blunt. <laughs> isn't isn't Raven Simone their sister too? One of their sisters? I think, she, no, I think you just threw them threw her in yeah. there. Raven somebody's sister. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Raven, no way half that. sister. You're on your own. Play like Anthony You would have said somebody like else over to help you start that rumor, but I ain't going right. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, hey, listen, um, you got one more. It was we got bad. one more person coming. She already hit me up. She's going to be here around 7.15. Um, mm-hmm. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Zooming with the Homies. This Grab a is seat. Grab a seat. Keep your, are you going to stop? Are you going to stop? Are you going to stop? This is the Keep Your Distance <laughs> comedy show takeover. Uh, everybody on the show tonight will be on the show tomorrow. And as you can see, it's going to be a show full of all women. You have beautiful uh, Angel, beautiful Cornelia, beautiful Janae, and you got a basic chick. Um, but we are super excited. <laughs> she basic, but she got the things on her. Oh, that's that's hilarious. Sitting on that pamper, Angel, what you know about it? Angel never heard pamper. that. She never heard that uh, she's sitting on that pamper. Ever. Either. Who said that? You ain't heard that, Peter? No, that, that is not attractive. That's no, what Ken said about himself, that he's sitting on that pamper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, I, I, it's not really a great quality for, for straight men, but I am thick. Bro. I'm <laughs> sitting on that thump, thump, thumper. Bro, <laughs> listen, that- You got cakes, Kevin? I, John A, I ain't listen. It ain't really nothing I can show off. But I'm out here. Gay dudes have told me on multiple <laughs> occasions, hey, hey, yo, what's good? Nothing, sir. Leave me be. They're trying to get the yams. That's <laughs> what they're trying to get. They're like, hey, you did the Clayton yikes. Thomas? You did the Clayton on it? <laughs> yams. <laughs> you, did the cookie, you did the cookie get God. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks, though, because all the other stuff, I, like muscles and stuff that is good for men, I don't have. If I was a girl, like, thighs, dang. Though. Yeah, if I was a, I got big thighs, got a big butt. Like, if I was a woman, they'd be like, dang, Kev out here. But it's just, it's just a waste. It's okay, though, Kev, because you got success. You know what I mean? Yeah, but. You know? That so does Seal. Seal has good? success, but nobody's like, ooh, Seal. <laughs> yeah. Seal is starting to look better to me during the quarantine. Oh, Everybody. Hey, John, ain't you lying to my face on this Zoom? Nah, Seal could get it. You what? ain't not giving you ain't giving Seal no kiss by the rose. Nah, for real. I he be watching my stories on IG. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. What? That is the most <laughs> random thing ever. Seal? That's how what? I started checking for him. I was like, Seal. And then I started looking, I was like, okay. The <laughs> kiss from a rose, you know, like I'm with you it. Sit up, John May. You sit. <laughs> What? Hey, still, I love that Batman movie. That song still come on smooth jazz. What did he be saying? Nothing. He just watches it, or whoever is running his page. They, yeah. Nah, Johnny, it's not. It's him. Don't don't put that on. So, still ain't got no social media team. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That is Seal <laughs> looking through your story. Hold on. Let me look at Seal page. Hold on. Still, you know, in shape. Listen, well, low key, um, you should, you should, you should holler at Seal. Is he still? Man, it'd be a. I, I feel like that's what God wants from me, a successful man. Because I worry too much. <laughs> hey, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. You should, t- you should I do it. Seal, do you understand? Sis, I would take you to catch 
every weekend. Bro, catch is a ma- I'm so mad if catch ain't open back up. What is catch? Oh man, catch oh, is that restaurant. Man. It's uh it's either is it Beverly Hills or downtown LA? Beverly Hills? I think it's Beverly no, Hills. It's like Beverly Hills, West LA ish. Is it, is it seafood? I guess it's all seafood. Seafood out everything. of this world to here. Everything. Ugh. You don't like seafood? You know, I'm not real big on the seafood, bro. I that's, go the rest of my life without seafood. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like nothing? No fish, no crab legs, lobster? Scat- Here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not big on crab legs. When I do eat them, I prefer to have it with steak because that's just the way I started eating them when I was a kid. When my mom, she was just always had crab, crab and steak. Um, lobster, no. Um, shrimp, they're good, but I can, I could go the rest of my life without it. Um, crab cakes, rest of my life without it. Uh, sea bass and all that type of stuff. Oh yeah, no. Um, I just started liking salmon like, I just started liking salmon like three years ago. So I'm not committed enough to say we ain't been fucking around that long to where yeah. we in our separate ways. Like I wouldn't lose no sleep over it. She was like, "Well, I ain't fucking with you, know." I'm like, bitch, I don't care. Like I'll be straight. You know what I mean? So no, no clams, no oysters. Oysters oh, still be alive when you eat them. I don't like people oysters still, or clams either. Yeah, people eat stuff in the head, get off of crawfish and all of that. Oh, oh, no. What coffee? Oh, child, no. Wait, do, what you do to here? Do it again. I ain't see it. Nope, nope. Come I, ain't see it. You're trying to screen capture me. I ain't see it. You, you trying to screen capture me, and the Lord don't like that. You know that? Angel, could you put more stuff in your hands? <laughs> you, you came back with Mom? everything in your arms. She, just, oh, wait, she came back flexing her mama skills. That's that's you, her mama right there. She came back with a lit birthday cake, some ice cream, <laughs> tubs of ice cream, four rolls of toilet tissue, some paper towels, Damn. and some wipes. You got dang on right. He grabbed that everything was. in there. I had accidentally, because the last time I ordered food, I had sent it to Kevin State Studio. So I had to tip the lady because I had to make her drive to my house because I didn't put my house address in here in there. So I was like, could you actually <laughs> leave where you're at and come to that where was today? I am? That was just now. So she just got here and I was like, let me give you a little cash for you, the inconvenience of uh, Listen, what I did to you. I'm so that sorry. Cold. That food cold unless you nah. just heated it up before you came back. Now my no, office is that far from Angel's house. Okay. What'd you say? I was just yeah. telling my, the office, ain't, Angel don't live that far from the office. Yeah, I was like, just drive two minutes up the road. Just two minutes up the road and I'll bless you. Angel is too. your auntie. You are transitioning oh, from okay. black auntie so smoothly. Listen, yes. Kevin, if you I have not watched. Father, I hate if you. you have not watched the uh, the episode of Wording Is Hard with Angel. Go watch. She is so encouraging. She knew I couldn't read, but she had so much faith in me. She, you <laughs> somebody do this on a small of your back, like it's okay. You can do. You can do it. I was just like, I can do it. I, I, I can do, do it. it. Just breathe through. <laughs> just breathe through it. Angel was answering it, questions babe. that I had no idea to like had an answer and she did it with so much ease. I'm like, how do you know that? She was like, I got 16 degrees. I should know it. <laughs> Angel got a <laughs> master's in Ooh. trigonometry. Got two of them hoes. Wait, you is it really in tri- is it really in trigonometry? No. 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 I like, what? What no, I did almost major in math, math but would you say now what? What are your majors in again? I got an MFA in acting and then a master's in arts administration so I can run a nonprofit. Those are the MFA and, and that's three years, right? Uh, one was three years. The other one I did in two. And were those that's concurrent or separate? Uh, separate. No, I didn't do them back to back. I did the the last one when I was pregnant with the twins. I was Hold like, on, you have, I ain't doing that. So you had for nine <laughs> nine years of college of continuing yeah. education. Yeah. Nine that no, not nine. Why am I listening to you? Not yes, nine. No, you're right. It's not. Oh, you had the four in undergrad plus the three. Yeah, nine. You're right. Nine. I don't know why. I I don't know why. I didn't have nothing else to do. Dang, you out here. I got (laughs) when I get bored, and I was like, I will never take another class. Don't at me. Don't do nothing. Don't talk to me. Don't email me. Just hand me my paper now and don't ever talk to me again. Listen, (laughs) I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I was working with my son. This My son got an F on his test today, and I was hot. And I said, was it open book? He was like, it was open note. And I was like, what type of notes was you 
you taking? Not only that, that you know, <laughs> was, was, he's not in school, right? It's virtual? He, he took that, he failed here in the house. Oh, okay. I would have been cheating my ass off. Ain't no <laughs> way I'm fucking a virtual test. Hold on, real quick. Hello, Zaynab. Thank you for joining us. You look marvelous. Zaynab always looked like she just left a photo shoot and they left her, they let her keep the clothes. Every time she come (laughs) on here, she was like, Do you guys mind if I if I just keep keep this? They'd be like, Yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Go right ahead. And Zaynab come right in, like, oh no, I was just sweeping my floor and feeding the canary. I didn't even I didn't. Exactly what I was doing. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Zaynab. What's up, Zaynab? There you go. Well, listen, before we continue with the stories, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Zooming with the Homies. Again, this is the Keep Your Distance comedy show. Take over. Everybody you see on here will be on the show tomorrow night. Um, super excited to have these beautiful, strong, educated, uh, funny, not funny, hilarious women in the house. Uh, we're going to have a fantastic show tonight. Um, as you guys know, this is a uh, show is not behind a paywall. So everyone here is a comedian, traveling comedian. If you guys want to uh, shoot them something to their cash app, they will be ever so grateful. Also, each person on here has a discount code for you to get your tickets to the Keep Your Distance Comedy Show. It is literally just their name. And for me, it's Mob, since you guys already know how it is. Um, and you guys can use that to get $3 off your ticket to the admission to the Keep Your Distance Comedy Show. So please, please, please look out for that. With that being said, let's jump right into the introductions. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of my favorite people to watch on stage, not just doing comedy, but also singing, even though she doesn't do it as much as I would love her to do it. Uh, hilarious in every way possible. She is an LA native. Chocolate is shit. You hear me? Chocolate is shit, okay? Inglewood represent the ladies and gentlemen. Y'all start making some noise, start clapping your hands right now for John A. Thompson. Okay. Here, I love you. I love the introduction, but I think you're mixing me up with Issa Rae. Uh, I am a San Diego native. Clack, 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 clack. My bad. My bad. I just don't stay in Inglewood now. My bad. Everything else was true. Everything else was true. I have an Inglewood vibe. I know. You do have an Inglewood vibe. vibe. You do have an Inglewood vibe. You know? Yeah, I picture a lot of incense burning, a lot of crystals around your Very house, so, um, a lot of succulents, and a couple of elephant ear plants. I, I just picture <laughs> that. Yeah. You know, just. Yeah. I take all of that. I take all of that. Oh. Next up, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, an amazing comedian writer. Uh, she, this is how dope she is. She took a, a year and a half off of comedy to tell the news. She moved <laughs> up north just to tell the news because people were suffering. And they needed to hear from, from a comedic voice, even though she didn't do comedy while she was telling the news. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fantastic comic, amazing dresser, uh, outstanding producer director. Ladies, y'all start clapping right now. Make a lot of noise for Cornelia Stradwick. Bam, 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 bam. I'm playing here. I did do the news. I was horrible, okay? I was mad. Are you serious? Listen, it was, because it's live TV bloopers, so mic turned on off don't it, like it didn't matter so i would literally be like it be <laughs> and that would be it <laughs> i got the hang of it though it was fine it was great how long did you do that for again it was about a year yeah sacramento and how long abc how 10 how sacramento long you have to wake up because you were doing the morning news right how long yeah. did you have to wake up for that i had to be in studio full hair and makeup at 3 a.m oh on air 4 30. 4 30 to 7. Then we had to do news cut-ins, nine o'clock. So I will be in the studio until about noon. Go home, be in the bed, 7 p.m. I love the look of concern on Zaynab's face. When you said 3 30, she had the most motherly concern look like <laughs> it was ew, it was brutal. But you know what? It wasn't that bad. Like it was fine. People will oversleep though, so it was just normal. People would literally run <laughs> into the newsroom like, "How ah. <laughs> they went to the newsroom?" What year was this? <laughs> <laughs> what year was this? This is 2016 to 2017. Oh my god! I couldn't have done it. Couldn't have been me, baby. Couldn't and here, I gotta me. run to the to the gate and grab some food. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Was this a dinner day and I didn't get the memo? Right. We ain't got no food. Oh, my food is cooking. I'm about to run to You got food too? Well, yes, because it's been a very busy day and I need to eat. So. I feel you. I'm, listen, I'm in the same boat. Zaynab, I'm going to do your intro now so you can go check on your food. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fantastic comic. Uh, she also is a um, in, in, in-home in resident model for Vogue, um, as well as uh, Lady GQ, as well as Culture Magazine. Uh, I mean, just all around just doing that damn thing. Hilarious as she wants to be. Uh, writer, producer, director from New York City. But I've, I don't think I've ever seen her in a pair of tins. Ladies and gentlemen, start back <laughs> making a lot of noise for Zaynab Johnson. Hey, here, I want Timbaland so much. Like, so much so that when I reference them, people don't know what I'm talking about. Like, we call them constructions. We call them beef and broccoli. We call them chuckers. We don't call them tins. That's the first sign that you know the person is not from New York. But I used to wear them all the time. But then I became an adult and I was like, these are not comfortable. <laughs> And I thought, <laughs> y'all, I can't believe nobody called it Tim's in uh, in, on the East Coast. Y'all didn't call them butters or nothing. No, well, the reason is is because there's so many different styles, right? So we call them whatever this the style is. So I know like, the, the um, beef and broccoli. Yeah, beef and broccoli. You got the chicken and broccoli. Those was the light version of that. Then you got the chocolate. Yeah, and then we used to, we, we called the, the Tims, we called them constructions, because that's what all the construction workers in New York wear, they wear Timberlands, so we call them constructions. Really? Well, yeah, so I've never heard a New York person refer to them as construction. Now, what part of New York are you from? Are you, like, from Hackensack? Or is Because I never heard niggas I'm from the boroughs say. I'm from New Jersey. I think I'm from right? Hackensack, New Jersey. <laughs> so what part of the state are you from? The different state? Um, <laughs> I, was you coming for me to hear? Or I was, was trying that? to. I tried to, but I couldn't think of anything up north. I mean, for New York. I, I, that's why I was like, Hackensack? And he was like, Jersey. Fuck! <laughs> you could have said Yonkers or... Um, I was born in Brooklyn. I grew up in Harlem, which is in Manhattan. A lot of people think Harlem is separate, but it's just... Is it up? It's upper Manhattan. Okay. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, now you know New York to here, but you just threw Hackensack in there. Exactly. Now you know exactly. Harlem is upper Manhattan. Oh, it's upper Manhattan. It's, it's next to Newark. You gonna put a bra on? You gonna let these hang the whole show because they gonna distract oh, you. Listen, that was not nice. I don't wear. I used to wear uh, undershirts after the pandemic started. I was like, I don't. I'm gonna just let these things go. Kevin, yeah. let it go. Only reason I have one on today. Is because I had an audition and the shirt I had on for the audition was thin and you saw my areola. That's the only reason I'm wearing a tank top right now. I did it the same thing. I was like, why? This is more stuff to watch. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I never um, had tank. Is that like equivalent to bras for you guys? No, it's not as tight as a bra, but it, I, I, when I take it off, it feels like the end of my day too. So I don't know. <laughs> Y'all remember the G unit tank top? Remember that? Man, that so I never that. Oof. They were expensive. Look, I only had like one. I was like, I'm not been spending all this money on this damn tank top. I'm not doing it. With the weird cut, wasn't it like a box cut? It was it a, was, it like was, a bulletproof vest. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, a mother of twelve. She has six you masters. Uh, <laughs> you say what? What you say? What you say? I said you get my ass. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is an amazing actor and act uh comedian a writer uh she does it all she's also the co-host um uh with kevin um you guys are you already know all the stage crew people y'all already know what's going on um she actually got the new stage crew shirt on right now looks like is that it gang gang okay. gang okay stage crew gang in here uh ladies and gentlemen please welcome to the show miss angel moore Yo, when Angel was on the show with you to hear, people thought I messed a flyer up. They're like, Angels, y'all have to hear Angels, you keep you put the wrong last her name her I was like, Angel's last name is Moore. They're like, oh, is it? Or I was like, her stage name is Moore. They're like, oh. People in the comments, boy, they think they know it. <laughs> Mr. Kev, I you didn't respect. I, her name's Diff. I, Tasty. <laughs> Woo! 
I love that's the voice you hear when you read it. <laughs> <laughs> people in the comments, bro, they when they when they think they know something that you messed up on, they be just. Uh, did you know? Well, actually, it was Tanksley. Look <laughs> here, actually said my married name right the last time I saw him. And I knew it took a lot of focus and a lot of dedication. And I just want to thank you for that. Because I know that that's yes. not the easiest for you. It's not, it's not for me. I don't know. I don't know why. I want to call it tanker tank sleep. sleep. I, would, yeah. I always want to put an ER at the tank. I always want to mm -hmm. call it tanker sleep. Every time I messed up, it was with the, it was the same way, tanker sleep. And she's like, I, was like, name. I was like, you're right. I was like, nigga, right. quit saying that name. Quit. Because you just, no. That's the reason why I don't go by it. He ain't the only one everybody they mess up my first name and then they really just murder the last they name they're like angel? angela angel, oh. angela tankersky <laughs> is that it Tank Tank tanksky angel i'm like by this time you might as well just be like broad Tanker come here and i'd be like thank you broad? <laughs> broad come here broad and i'd be like that's closer that is closer Tanker than what you were Kev, did you know I knew Tank before I knew Angel was a comedian, an actor, all of that type of stuff? I didn't even know Angel was in the entertainment business. I met Tank through my boy Gabe, who took us to the gun range when we were in Dallas. Yeah, the one I who was really late, like an hour late. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the, I just, I remember because we was waiting. It was oh, hot and he was just like, I'm a, he had all the guns, so we couldn't. We was just sitting in the gun <laughs> place. So like, you didn't want to say nothing to it. Like everybody was ready to go, and he was late. Nobody wanted to say nothing because Gabe came with an arsenal. You know, Gabe he has came arsenal, in so. with muscles, them cop glasses, and an AK-47. He just started loading it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> 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 this man is. He was making all the. Ch -ch 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 -ch. He was loading it fast. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my <laughs> to a minimum here. <laughs> <laughs> but I met I met uh, Tank through through him, so I didn't even know. Like me and Angel could have been, been making content. I didn't even realize back in the day, and I didn't I was know she was putting on a monthly. I didn't know she was putting on a monthly show at Flappers. Like I had no idea. That's how many comments are out in LA. There's a lot. You say what? I see. Yeah, what there's a lot of us. There are yeah. a lot of us. There are. There are. I don't know if that was sarcasm or not. So I'm just, I'm just glazed no, over. No, I'm like saying, no, there are a lot of us. I am just okay. mesmerized by Zaynab right now. And Zaynab, I feel like I the don't way the light is hitting together. her, it's like she's contoured. Yes. Like, I am like, <laughs> like the light is, lighting. Zaynab somehow has sunlight at 730. It is pitch black and you have sunlight. We all have artificial light. You got the sun. I yes. have. I have artificial light as well. I have a ring light sitting right in front of me, and I am over it. <laughs> what brand is it? Over she is giving us the, the Kamala Harris during the debate phase. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I was Kamala, I would have been like, shut your ass up. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, I know we ain't going here, but it's like, if we're going to lose anyway, go put up a good fight. Like, put up a good fight. Tell him, to shut your lying ass up. <laughs> the yeah. thing about that I didn't debate, like how they that had really her with the Dominican watch. hair salon swoop. I didn't like it. <laughs> why they do that? I was like, why did they do that? She doesn't wear the the doobie mm -hmm. swoop. It was like, swoop. <laughs> man, she hit him with so many looks last night. I was like, he was not prepared to debate. It was kind of frustrating woman. though to watch. Like she is obviously whether you agree with her policies or not, she is obviously. 15 times more qualified than him to do anything in the world. Like y'all shouldn't even be talking at the same time. <laughs> For real. Like, first of all, the fact that you keep interrupting her is anti-black and that's fact. Right. <laughs> but bruh, that man was so boring. I almost lost my mind. Mm. She would get the floor ridiculous. back and then take her time. She would be like, I was talking. I was, I was talking. talking. I hate now, the way he I was said thank saying, you. <laughs> the way he said thank you, Susan. I, he, I was just like, man, shut up. Thank you, Susan. Every time <laughs> I try to win him over. <laughs> <laughs> when Susan tried to call, cut off uh, Kamala, she was like, no, no. Kamala. That's what I said. Kamala. That's what I said. Kamala. That's what I said. Kamala. 
that's, was, that's what, no, that's what I, now, I agree with you that I feel like it should be said the way you say it. Yeah. But, you know, that's neither here nor there because you did say it wrong anyhow. But please continue. <laughs> Could continue. No. The that's crazy thing about to hear, yo, he's good at word games, though. He beat the brakes off me in words with friends. And I'm like, so you do know the words. It's just <laughs> them coming out that gives you. That gives I, you they, they give me anxiety. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Tara. I can type them. <laughs> I can put them in, in spaces, but when it comes to saying them aloud, oh, I know you, everybody know their strong point. You know your strong suits. That's not me. You know what I like to hear, what I just noticed is you said aloud, and some people say out loud. Like I say out loud, I think it's a regional thing. Hmm. Well, th that and then I, I know the right words. It's just they don't always come out right. Like I've been saying converse for years when people still say conversate, but I would just mess up the next word after converse. It's like converse Ooh. and then hit my next word they'll be like oh, okay he's still an idiot okay cool that's what yeah. <laughs> i stand by that word should be conversate though english just be dumb sometimes and that is true very true. converse from conversation like that was just an extra step it was unnecessary conversate just fit we were we conversating irregardless we're gonna keep it yeah <laughs> they just <laughs> added it regardless yeah. they added it to the dictionary yeah. Did they? they did. Conversate might be added. Have you checked? I ain't checked. It, I not, think that was with it. Wait. Yeah, I think that's with it. Conversate got in? I think yes. so. I think they both. Conversate near regardless. I think yeah, they said we made the conversation right. on the new Oxford American Dictionary. Let's go. Let's we go. Yeah, so they were free to say it. I'm using it. I'm using it for no oh. reason. That was that was my one strong point. I lost that. Now I'm back to being an idiot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the word. They took you talking everything I had from me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. it looks like Melissa is driving the Maserati more than you. What's going on with that, baby boy? Listen. <laughs> I listen, I she had a photo shoot, right? And I had to go shoot. She was like, hey, just just could you leave the Maserati? I just want to grab a couple. I, I said, hey, hold on now. What? Next thing you know, you know what? They was blocking me in. I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and take it. At first, she was afraid of it. It's too big. It's too fast. Now she don't mind. I knew it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. I was trying to get her to get a new car first so that I could get what I wanted and then it would be mine. But unless you have two, she has one. That's how this marriage goes. Unless you have two <laughs> nice things, she has one nice thing, and then you can drive her thing, and that's just how life goes. I like that. Sounds like yeah. fair. I'll sign up for that. If that's how it is. <laughs> fair. Yeah, that's fair. I'll do it. All right. And that's happened with every nice car. It's not just this car. This oh. is every nice car in our relationship. I go buy it. I take the first picture, drive, take it to church. By about the third week, she's like, ah. Oh. My car need an oil change. Can you take it? And by that time, she already done plotted. She done plotted on me. She done moved this. This woman in the Maserati, I haven't even figured out how to set up the seat to, to be set to your, you know, height. I get in my car. It zooms me up. I'm like, hold on. How you figure out how to set the, the seat to your height? I ain't even had a chance right. to figure that out yet. Yeah. That, that sounds come the way. Come on, come on, zoom on with the homies. And I feel some type of way about it. She stands by her. Today, you didn't have a chance. She, her hair wasn't done. You, there was no, you could have had 10 grand for her cash. If her hair's not done, you can forget about it. <laughs> I've been trying to get Melissa on um, Zooming with the homies for the past three months. She see me in public, speak to me like we best friends, and turn me down every time I ask her. Every single time. She don't want to be on here. Why she don't want to be on here, Kev? She, she she's not a comedian. This? She feels like this well, is a show like for comedians. got to be a comedian? Yeah. Is that's not the case though? Promos, guys, come on. She ain't trying to hear it to hear. She a real artist in the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody you didn't had on here is a comedian to hear. No, no, tons of people haven't been comedians. I've had actors on here. I've had uh the dude from Wingstop, uh, Dalen. <laughs> I, I was here. He ain't no comedian. Don't yeah, nobody know Dalen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She told you to shut up in the comments to hear. She watching live. She told you to shut up. Oh, did she? I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. I told you. 
that wing stop made me feel hungover the next morning. Yeah. <laughs> you've been eating, if you, Angel, if you've been eating healthy and you go back, your stomach will be like, what are you doing? It yeah. felt like I had been drinking hard liquor. That's how that wing stop busted me all upside my head. I was like, why did I do that? That's my problem, free food, and I act like I've lost my mind. I'm gonna tell you, Angel, that's when you grow up poor and black, you feel the responsibility to eat free food and to eat too much of it. Cause in the back of our lives, we didn't have access to all that stuff. Man, exactly. listen, I grew up so broke and so poor that I will force myself to finish my meals knowing I'm full when I'm out to eat just because like we don't throw food away. And I still exactly. have to fight that to this day. So like, Tony I, Baker always gets on Melissa for that. And I'd be like, Tone, we don't, you don't have to eat it all. And your mom's not gonna make you go to bed early. You, you're the you're the mom. It's your house. You're 42. No, oh, man, you, you just be wasting stuff, man. I'll be out here wasting stuff, man. That is Tony Baker. <laughs> Tony has huge hands too. So that's really the bit his hands are abnormally large. Massive. <laughs> Massive. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Where's uh you say Melissa's watching live? Yeah, I, you never introduced me. I just I wanted to say oh. you just all the other people. Okay, got, yeah, uh, that. <laughs> I, was, of it. I thought you was just trying to do it in tow with like the show. But then you No, just, that's about that, Kevin. I'm sorry. Uh ladies and gentlemen, we have um amazing father, husband, creator, comedian, writer, director, producer, employer. Uh, multiple home buyer, Maserati used to driver, uh, former <laughs> hair haver, uh, Mr. Kev on stage. Make some noise. <laughs> also, I, Amelia, I wanted to ask you a question. When you did the news, did you have a news voice? No, I tried to get one. <laughs> I tried to create one because everybody had one and I felt like I was like behind. So I would be like, I did traffic news, by the way. So it was even, it was worse. So I'll be like, on I-90, but like I was trying. (laughs) (laughs) You came in so high. (laughs) Accident on I-29. Like I was, (laughs) they were like, girl, like stop. (laughs) Hey girl, so I tried. Wait, Cornelia, were you in the helicopter? <laughs> driver were, you the the were you the eye in the sky? Were you in the helicopter? You just no. Like- we didn't have a chopper. No, I w- I wanted. That's kind of why I took it. I was like, yo, maybe I'll get in the chopper. I'll be in the helicopter. And I'll be like, choppers in life. Coming from you. Like, 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 ain't had no chopper. Yo, this have you ever done this on your set, Cornelia? No, not that. Cecilia, not, that not is that. original material. I used to be in the news and I couldn't get the voice right. Yo, <laughs> nobody has hilarious. ever heard that joke, I guarantee you. Listen, why did she sound like she was riding downhill on a bike? Like, Cecilia, please add that to your set. You are going to murder. That is the most. I'll write it down. I'll write it down. Write it down. I Where would die. Where did you get that pencil from? Where did you come in? I'll write it down. You sound like you were riding a bike downhill. <laughs> no, it was bad. It was oh, bad. That's such a, it takes people such years to get that new job. Book. I mean, it, it would seem perfect for a comedian to go into something like that, but it's such an odd job. It's such a real job for a comedian to have. Like, like after six, you're like, yes, yeah, so then the bitches came in, right? See, <laughs> especially if you were like lead anchor, but if you traffic, you can't be like, yeah, that's crazy. A uh, casualty on I-69. <laughs> like, because you literally can go into somebody being deep. So it just didn't work. It was too hard. They were like, oh my God. They're like, somebody died. Like, how? And they'd be like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> who's, uh, somebody has the white noise. Um, oh, it's gone now. I muted mine to see if it was me, but then it came, it stayed oh, on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, Cornelia, I have one more news question for you. Okay. 
do those people be making up news names? Like the anchors? Yeah. No. That well, is their I mean, real name? And unless they purposely go out of their way to do it. But no, it they that's literally their name. No, like a Chuck Storm ain't his name. That's is. what I'd be saying. Oh, my, they, now, I, I've done like, he might have purposely did that, but like if they just got some regular podunk name, that's their that's, name. I've been on the road in a lot of these re regional cities. It's like, I'm Buck Stiley, right? That's not your name. Your <laughs> name is not Buck Stiley. His name might have been something like Bernard Stiley, and he was like, I'm gonna go by Buck. <laughs> but then, for the oh. most part, no, that'd be their little raggedy name. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna mute everybody to see where the sound is coming from. Um, Kani, I'm gonna mute you first. Hold on. Yeah, so it was her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the baby. Oh, like, listen. I was like, whose kid is in there? I Zoom? And then I look back. Like, <laughs> My child. Get tech support on the line. What do I need to do? Oh. Amelia, it's usually me. So I was so happy it wasn't me this time. It's usually me with the white noise. I was so proud. I was like, I got a new laptop. Hold on, let me go to my settings. Hold Do on. you have a um a revolving fan around? I mean, uh, oscillate the fan around you. Is that what's going on? Is it? It's not on. No, it's not I got on. the fan on. I have the fan on, but I was muted, so it wasn't mine. Okay. I mean, but I'm hot. I'm over here sweating. <laughs> they now, what are you eating? It looks good and interesting. Oh, I asked you right when you took a bite. My bad. Go ahead and get you 30 seconds in real quick. I am eating um, butternut squash ravioli. Mm. Are, Are you, you vegan? vegan? Hmm? Are you vegan? You vegan? No, I'm not. I'm like pescatarian, but I do stay away from like, I don't drink milk and eat cheese, but I do eat cakes and things that are made with dairy. Mm. But like, I just, I, you know, I, yeah. So I'm a little bit complicated, but no, I'm not vegan. This is totally random, but you remind me of my sister-in-law. She was in high school. She decided to be vegan and she was going for strong for three months and she broke down. And usually people break down on like steak, lobster, something like extravagant. She broke down on Manwich. It was just <laughs> Manwich night. And she was just like, man, that Manwich. I was like, girl, we don't even want Manwich. That's just what we have to eat. <laughs> and did this happen in 1989? Oh, she oh, broke, it was like 2000, 2001, and it was sandwich in a pan, and she was like, what you doing man, later? That man which hit different, bro. Especially on the skillet that they cook it in, that man which hit. I, listen, I told y'all my story. I was vegan for three months, and I was feeling oh, everything about I was so excited about it, and I was driving to work at ADD, I I was on the 110, about to get off, right by the convention center, and I saw a billboard that the triple cheeseburger was back at McDonald's. I was like, oh, that's my sign. That's that's for me. <laughs> I put it all on the line for the triple cheeseburger for McDonald's, because they, they wasn't serving it year round. That bad boy came back and just said, it's back, the triple cheeseburger. And then it had the golden oranges. I was like, oh, nigga, say less. Say less. <laughs> The fact that they sell cheeseburgers means that the triple cheeseburger was never off the menu. You just have to request an actual. They wouldn't make it. That is a fantastic point, it. Angel. You could have got another patty on a double cheeseburger at any time. They wouldn't do it. They was like, "It's no way we could ring it up. It's not on the menu. Is it wasn't on the register?" No. Okay. Then you say ring up an extra cheeseburger. Now listen, I am a recovering fat girl. There are many things you can do. Okay, Angel. to get them to give Angel. you the menu. Won't, huh? Listen, listen, that might work when you inside, but I was going through the drive through because I didn't want nobody to see me. I was ashamed to be at McDonald's, okay? Man, you why are you ashamed? You eat filet -O fish from McDonald's still. It is the yeah. king of the sea. The filet -O fish is Wait. one of the best sandwiches. Uh, filet -O fish uh, is full of uh, shredded uh, notebook paper to hear. That ain't <laughs> nothing but old trapper keepers and, and tartar sauce. Let me, ask, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You think you think you telling me that gonna make me stop, nigga? It's good. I don't. Hey, now, don't do that. <laughs> don't, throw, don't throw your great skin in the conversation. Don't nobody <laughs> care, okay? I'm gonna rock with that fillet of fish to the fillet of fish ain't around to be rock with. Now, when I was out here in these streets eating um, trash, I was eating that fish mattress as well, and I would be hey, tearing it up. <laughs> But they never forget the tartar, the tartar proportion. Add the extra tartar sauce. 
Hey, this I is this it, this No. It, this, they already hey, put you on. I, I teach a class on how to order a proper fish fillet, okay? First off, you got to let them know, hey, I'm doing okay. I'll pay for a whole slice of cheese because they only give you half a slice of cheese on the fish fillet, okay? They so you say, I, I'll pay for the whole slice of cheese, okay? Then you say, and I want extra tartar sauce. They say, extra, yes, top and bottom. Top and bottom Ew. of the fillet. Tartar sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, then, no. No. Ain't it? Then add pit. Well, here's the thing. Even though you oh, say extra, they're not going to give you a lot. It's just going to be like, it's just a little squirt. It's just a little squirt. No. Just a little squirt. Mm -mm. No, they and already then, put too much. And then if you say only a little tartar sauce, they just do a little flick of it. So then you got this dry, tempurpedic fish on your bread with no sauce on it. You don't need extra. You, know you what? just you need don't, normal. You don't deserve the fish fillet. You don't deserve it. You're right. You my test, my test is gone. I don't eat it no yeah. more, but fish fillet Friday was a thing. Oh, it was so funny. Don't let me get bun, it. They steam the bun on the fish fillet. That bun is different from all the other buns. You, you open that box up and that bun like, hey. It started taking his, his clothes off. People like, oh, this bun is with the shits. <laughs> it is. But here, somebody in the comments said this, and it's a fantastic point. You said you don't eat seafood, but you eat the fish fillet. That's not fish. Like, what? I know it's not sea. I know it's not fish. That's why you like mm -hmm. it. Mhm. Mm you like tilapia, huh? I used to. I stopped eating oh, tilapia. Okay. Once I found out how bad it was, I stopped eating tilapia. I haven't had tilapia in years. Oh, well, we got some tilapia in the freezer right now. Yeah, it's not bad tasting. It tastes like a pretty good fish. It's just not good for you. It's just fake. If you ate a, a, a napkin dipped in ranch, you got right, so, off cough. It, there's nothing you can tell him that's going to But no, wait, wait, wait. No, he said you stopped that. eating tilapia once you heard it was bad for you, but you will oh, yet and still dip yeah. paper towel in ranch and eat it? First and one. a bag. Okay, first of all, he dips a piece of a bag from Jack in the Box right. in ranch. So I'm confused on your scale here. Angel, don't let nobody else tell your life story, okay? Get it get it from me. Don't listen to Kevin. He don't know what's really happened. First of all, let There's me say your evidence of this. I was I know I saw it and I was I was here at the last who, zoom in who, with the who home. Who you gonna believe? Me or your lying ass eyes? I'm trying to tell you, listen, this is what happened, okay? It, okay. it wasn't a paper towel, all right? It was a napkin. Okay. Napkin, so, you're right, napkin. That's different. And and the bag he wasn't lying on. I did eat it just a little little <laughs> tad bit of the bag. Oh, I, I saw. I, I, I I I so how does the tilapia rank? <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. I don't eat that regularly. Okay. I was just proving the point of how good the ranch was. Uh, that's not a regular part of my diet is what I'm saying. So I you just put your finger in the ranch. Right. You can just do that. That ain't proving it. That ain't proven it. You got to go to the extreme sometimes to prove something. What I'm saying is I don't have pieces of napkin in the plastic bags in the freezers. What I'm saying. That's not a part of my diet. I ain't bringing it out to let it thaw out for Thursday night's dinner right. is what I'm saying. Like you do okay. with that tilapia. You need to open up you your right. third eye, sister. You need to open up your third eye. <laughs> that, third, that third eye going to feed all these boys, but that tilapia will. You ain't been listening to Dr. Umar. I can tell right now, sister, you need to open up your third eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Umar. Me, your white wife, she can't come. <laughs> you know, the funniest thing about Dr. Umar is he's not playing around. He, he's dead serious. And he, yeah. he was on Instagram live. He said, this, this live stream is for Africans only. If you are not African, get off. <laughs> As if that was enough. And because Yo. I told you, get off. <laughs> Dr. Mark's a special man. He's special. So That's a lesson in acting, though. He is not playing around. Nah. While Kevin trying to air me out, I just want to point out that Kevin fired me I want to hear it. He, Kevin fired me uh, four, four, four days after telling me I was safe, that my job was safe. I had nothing to worry about. And keep in mind, this is right around the corner from the holiday season when Kevin fired me. Okay. But it's not just him. It runs in his family. When we were on tour one time, a, a, a fan oh. had brought me some donuts. Oh, my God. And she, she had reached out to me and found out my favorite donuts. So she had got a box, a dozen of my favorite donuts. Okay. And and Kev's wife, Melissa, his counterpart, his his life force and partner, okay, gave my amazing box of donuts. I didn't even try one. Gave my amazing box of donuts away just to a random person on the street. 
and mm. and they just did this spitefully out of the the, the, the hate in their heart. That's I just not what happened. You lying. Yeah. You ain't never been heard of the king. <laughs> They are equally yoked. I don't want to sound like a sermon. It sounds like a sermon. The, 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 the hate in their heart. <laughs> they are equally yoked. You understand me? The, 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 the Bible says. Uh, 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 Yo, that, that stutter people? hit. When you preaching good, you hit that right stutter, they be like, oh, he in his bag now. You shift the gears because you're you like, I'm finished, finished. But hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. When most, you got to stutter and then. And then really enunciate the next word. No, 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 no. When Moses, uh -huh. there, watch this. You got to set him up to here. Watch, watch this. this. Watch this. When, when like Moses, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay, parted the Red oh. Sea. Oh, come on. Y'all don't even hear me. See, y'all uh -huh. y'all, y'all think it's coming and you don't really hear it. When he uh -huh. parted the Red uh -huh. Sea, uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the path right. was dry. Come on. Oh, my God. See, a lot of times, see, y'all, when y'all are parting things, you're not uh -huh. waiting mm. until the path is dry. Oh, I ain't got no help in Zion today. Listen, it ain't important what you say. It's important that, listen, preachers are some of the best performers that don't get credit for their oration skills. No, they get credit by the congregation every week. <laughs> no, they do. But I'm saying they when you talk about great entertainers, we're not we're not saying Eddie Murphy and T D Jakes. They're on the same level as far as stage presence. And they, I write, and they write a new bit every Sunday. They got a whole hour. Not every day. Sunday. I ain't gonna hold not you. I went to a church for 15 <laughs> years, and the longer you stay, the more you realize. We you hate man. All right, I heard it. I know you used to be on that Mad Dog twenty. We know, we know, right. we right. know. Please, I wish we could boo, <laughs> <laughs> especially when they do that setup, but they ain't no real revelation. When there's no, when they do that, wait, 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 y'all see, y'all don't even know what's happening, and then they drop it, and it's like, like, you know, mediocre. I wish we could be like, boo, you ain't anointed. <laughs> Bro, like that's I why will. you gotta hit them with the I I can't get no help because now you don't put the pressure on them. See y'all y'all don't get this. You'll get this on the way home. That means that point didn't really hit. That is the equivalent of a comedian joke failing and being like, so dating in L.A. It's the same. It's the same <laughs> thing when you didn't crazy hit. Out there, man. Yo, I when I, listen when I was a youth pastor, I would be writing my sermons and there'd be a point where I just knew I would this was gonna get them. And when you drop that, the L.A. Dodgers missed. Amen. Because they died. <laughs> See, y'all y'all going to get that on the way home. No, they're not. They, they're never going to get it. It was a terrible point. It worked in the bathroom. It didn't work in practicality. You know, yeah. preachers bomb too, bro. Preachers have bad sets. <laughs> and they should feel it. Like, I feel like comedians have to feel it in the moment. If they yeah. keep putting out trash, the audience is going to let them know. But this, people this in church, they'll start, sit there and big up the pastors and they be gassing them and they be trash. You got to start doing the offerings and the tithes at the end of the sermon. And you just have, hold it in your hand. Every time he don't make a point, you just pull something back from that. From the 10%. I'm <laughs> like, all right, nigga, you, you want to get paid today or not? Because right now you're on bullshit. That's what I'm trying to say. You're right, right. You did not prepare. You right. didn't. Kev, Kev, remember that one time uh, <laughs> at my birthday when you were at the top oh. level of my cake? Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you remember? Let it go. Do you remember yeah. the top tier of a three tier pineapple upside down cake? And you was just like, I'm going to take a piece of this. Nobody's gonna miss the entire top tier of a cake. You Not a piece, that. ain't that? He listen, listen, he, listen. <laughs> this was the top tier, right? But it's bigger than this. Let, let me give you a bigger example. All right, this right here, right? He not he didn't cut half of it or a uh, quarter. He, he's just like, I'm gonna just take. <laughs> nobody's yeah. gonna notice. No, nobody's gonna notice. That's what Kevin on stage. Did. See, and now what you don't been up to? Johnny, Camelia, what you guys been going on, man? What's been <laughs> happening in your life? 
Can I just say, we all understood top tier and the whole top tier, but then he brought out a prop and said the same thing. <laughs> I was like, no, we do, we get it. We understood. No one. Not but just the your ladies. No, we understand the whole. We understand what whole means. <laughs> <laughs> but to hear, how did you get blessed later on, though? Later on, Angel made me a fantastic uh, pineapple upside down cake. It was so good. I felt bad about eating how much uh, of it that I did. And Kev, Kev paid Angel to to make that cake. See, he tried to right his wrong. They didn't pay her at all. She did that on her own accord. Oh, mm. you didn't even pay her? You, you <laughs> slimy, slithering snake, you. Amelia, you know where'd you get that art behind you? I really enjoy it. <laughs> That came from Target in North Hollywood. That's where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> that one on Big Tree Boulevard? That's where that's from. <laughs> I know that exact Target. <laughs> yeah, people that's the black over Target. Target. We love Target, man. We do. Wow. Dude. Great. We love it. it feels so bougie. It does. Why, what's yeah. the, why do you think, why do y'all think Target and Walmart feel so different, even though a lot, they both carry mostly the same stuff? No, no, yeah, Target got them market pantry clothes. They got that different, them clothes. It's so, the no, amount it's of different that's line. out there. There's more teeth in Target <laughs> in, in totality. There's less less teeth I, in Walmart. I feel like you know there's a dress code associated with Target. Walmart, people, they, they just, they don't. They don't know that there's a dress code attached to that store. They come in there, however they come in there. Any type of way. Y'all ever been to the really small towns where Walmart is the place to be? Like, this is it. That's yeah. where I'm from. <laughs> 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 That's where I'm from. Walmart makes me feel like I'm home, Like, but I only like the clean Walmart, so I'll drive all the way up to, to Valencia to mm. go to their Walmart. Will you really? <sighs> what about the Burbank Walmart? Is it decent, or did they run it it's into the ground? Nice. It's okay, but it's still not as nice. And the people that shop there, again, there's not enough teeth. But when you go all the way up to Valencia, everybody got their teeth. That it was feels, nice. That was yeah, nice. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the right amount of racism and the right amount of like friendliness. It's that mixture that Walmart always gives you. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I go up there every Thanksgiving and just drop money. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's my story. You uh, got, a, per, uh, you got a, a prefer a preferred Walmart. That's you, you, you <laughs> because the one in Pan, the, the one in Pan, Panorama. Oh, Panorama uh, City! Oh no, it, it, it is disgusting. It's, no, you, you, I literally got stabbed twice going to the Walmart. Getting out of my car, I got stabbed in my back, and then I was about five hundred feet from the entrance, and I got stabbed again. I was like, I just got stabbed. Like, oh, I'm sorry. That's no, the entry it's a Kmart. Thing. It's a Kmart. That's not even the, the panorama. They, that's what, I, that's what know, it is. They still have a, a, a Montgomery Wards over there with the sign on it. Like, yo, sure it, how do. long has Montgomery Wards been closed? Take the sign down. They're like, nope. Montgomery no, Wards been gone 25 years. What is that? Montgomery Ward, Ward is like a super old dis, uh, like Sears. Yeah. It's like a Sears. Like dealers. But it ain't been yeah. open in like 25 years. It's been gone for a long time, but they'll never forget. They're going to hold that dear in their hearts. Man, that Walmart in them small towns, the super Walmart, they'd be the Whoa. club. Yes, uh, it do be. The, my sister lived in a small town. She was like, I got to let you go. Walmart picking up right now. I'm finna pop, I'm finna pop in there. <laughs> <laughs> but she was not playing, though. She was literally like, oh, man, we just be pulling up to Walmart and seeing who's, who's up in there. Bro. Yes. When I used to be, I, uh, love it. I used to be the uh, start line MC for Tough Mudder. You know, Tough Mudder, they would do the mud runs and all the like. You, we would catch a plane into like a big city, but then we would drive like two hours to get to like just fields. Just so these are like the back towns. And when I tell you, like literally, the only thing would be open past seven o'clock would be the Walmart. So everybody was there. A lot of Confederate flags. Very scary. There is there's nothing better than shopping at Walmart good and drunk right before you go to Waffle House. <laughs> if that that spells joy to me to leave the club tipsy, go to Walmart, buy a thermos, and maybe <laughs> buy a uh, just 
buy some pajamas, you know, something sure. random, and then long go to the gone. waffle house. Right, long towns. Then go get you a waffle, some hash brown smothered and covered, and some scrambled eggs. Like listen, drunk waffle Walmart sounds like an exhibition sport. Like <laughs> shopping at Walmart? Drunk shopping at Walmart sounds oh, like drunk shopping. <laughs> The best, and there's always characters there. There was a man who literally, I think, took a sharpie and colored in his entire facial hair all the way around, honey. He had his mama there in a motorized wheelchair, and you can't tell me they weren't about to have a good goddamn time. And I was like, you can only get that at Walmart. You don't get that at Target. You don't get that at Target. Only at Walmart. It's the best. Ah. I was at a Waffle House eating after a show one time. These black dudes got in a fight, busted up all over the thing. Police came. They had drugs in the car. We never stopped eating. We were just, <laughs> we were just like, man, that is crazy, bro. They are really fighting, like, right over there. And the floor, floor is always slippery at Waffle House. <laughs> always. Yeah, they, it's dirty. It's Your always going to be dirty. Everything mopping, dirty. But you know they didn't just get through mopping. No. The craziest thing about Waffle House, I made a video about them talking about how dirty it was, and they invited me down. They didn't even try to deny anything. The corporate headquarters are <laughs> like, yeah, man, you got it. They do be like that. <laughs> it's like, they, they weren't even bad. They gave you they a, gave a, me a car for $200. <laughs> they gave me $200 in Waffle House, which is like $3,000 in regular money. Yes. That lasted forever, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Adrian, we were at Waffle House. I'm talking about everybody on tour. Me, Tony, Melissa, uh, uh, the tour manager, Doughboy, the, the boy, everybody ordered everything. I was like, let me get the waffle, let me get the chicken, let me get some hash brown, get some grits, some coffee, and some orange juice. Everybody ordered like that. We still had $193 left. <laughs> <laughs> that is the goodness of Waffle House. As long as you got 10 cent, you can get a full belly. Man, I was at that Waffle House. I thought they was going to give me a brand deal. I sat down with the CMO and he was like, I'm going to tell you right now, there's no money in this for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing, I had lied. They were like, when are you going to be in Atlanta next? And I was like, oh, I'm going to be in Atlanta in like two weeks from now. They're like, oh, perfect. I wasn't. I flew out there for the express purpose of getting a brand deal. I had a, bought a, a hotel near the airport, met him up at the first original Atlanta Waffle House. The first words out of his mouth, we don't do brand deals. We're not gonna pay you for anything. We Here's a name tag. You can make a video and here's a gift card. The flight was $700, okay? Cause it was, I had bought it within like a week. Hotel was another 200. And Uber, I spent a thousand dollars to get two hundred dollars in Waffle House money. When I tell you, I cried my whole way back to LA. I was like, "This is." I should have just went and met them when I was actually going to be in Atlanta. This is total waste. Of time. <laughs> I mean, but you thought Waffle House had like some money? I like we we've, we've been at Waffle House for now thirty years. You know they have no damn money. You knew this. You're right, Camelia. I just, because the, 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 the marketing person hit me up, I thought things would be different for me, but it wasn't. They don't have no oh. damn money. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt my feelings. We, no. There's no money in this for you. $700 <laughs> from LA? Did you buy that? Was, you bought that? This uh, is when people used to fly a lot. You know, the airports, they would get you within, within a week. They was going to tax you. And I was like, this ain't going to be nothing. I'm going to get this back. I'm going to get me 50 grand, maybe even 100. They gave me $200 in store credit. Not even, I would rather have $200 in cash. Damn. <laughs> we going to eat for five years with that. $200, you, you got a good five years. Amelia, we used that card, no lie, like six, seven trips. It, the thing still had $150. I just, I lost it eventually. It was like, I can't eat no more Waffle House. It was, it's, it's. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know Waffle House don't need no brand deals. Waffle they House don't. don't need nobody to advertise it. I talked about people. bringing a, a Waffle House to LA. They were like, nope. They were like, Snoop already reached out. Uh, Marshawn Lynch had reached out. We're not going that far. We're stopping at Arizona. We don't care how much money you make us because for them, you have the owner has to work in there. Snoop offered them like a crazy amount of money, and they were like, "Unless you're gonna operate it, we're not doing." It. I was like, "Y'all expect Snoop Dogg 
to be wearing Waffle House stuff and being at work? <laughs> like, what is wrong with y'all? And because he wouldn't do it, they wouldn't bring the Waffle House to LA. Yeah, no. I feel like you got to be missing a side tooth to really be up in Waffle House. To like, hear you to be up in there. To hear that's oh, your singer, side. you ain't got no side tooth. Oh, he out of here right here, Cornelia. <laughs> <laughs> he would have got what? the bring here. That's okay. who you should have dispatched. You should have dispatched to here. <laughs> There you go. That's <laughs> part of the company culture, Cornelia. Oh, come on, man. You got everything. You had braces. Oh, you're out of here. The you got a side too. So here got assistant manager smile for Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I was at Waffle House one time. The cook, this is the true story. Cook, the cook out there smoking a blunt, asking me, hey, y'all smoke? I got that. I was like, sir, you are currently at work. You can't sell weed out the back while you're at work. That food yeah. was probably good as hell, though. Look. I was about to say, them oh, cheese food was good as hell. Oh. Yes. Sir, are oh. you going to be on the grill? Are you cooking the food? I'll be in. Hey, listen, the better, the more felonies you have, the better the hash browns are. I ain't um, mad at it. That food ain't that's why I like Waffle House. Listen, these people got two strikes. They, them, that sauce is going to be right. They, they can't afford to mess it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. I, yes. I love oh, Waffle House. I love, I love Cracker Barrel more, man. Oh. I don't oh. want to hear and tell the truth. Tell you the truth. walk through racism to eat at Cracker Barrel. Y'all don't be oh, feeling no type of way walking through the little old country store? Listen, every time I go to Cracker Barrel, I'm ready to be called a nigger. Like, every time. Without fail, I'm bright like I'm the angst is real. I'm walking around like I might look like this, but I'm ready for a nigger to be yelled out of somebody's mouth because everybody, every waffle, I mean, every cracker bear I've been to look like they have at least three people there that, that use the word on a regular basis. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's but you know basis. what? Racist people have the best hospitality, at least from where I'm from, because the folk in Kentucky they know how to greet you, they know how to seat you, and they know how to serve you. Now, they don't want you to mate with their kids. That's a different thing. But I'm going to tell you what, they're going to get your order right. They're going to put a little extra lemon in your sweet tea. Like mm -hmm. these, like, you know, let's all be equal. They don't know how to serve you out here. They like, they're just like, <laughs> oh, is it, is it all going to be one check? Because we can only do one check at the Waffle House or at the Cracker Barrel. They will split your check however many times they want, <laughs> that you want to. Like, I'm here for that. I will walk through the racist store with the, all the little, the little Confederate stuff, all the things that make you think I might not make it out here. Out they of here, but molasses I'm going to the good Cracker Barrel, like oh, you know molasses. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Wait, didn't they bring one out here somewhere? Yeah, there's one in uh in Camarillo. Camarillo. Oh, that, where's that? That is <laughs> going that? towards Oxnard. Oh, it ain't really not. out here. It's 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 not really close enough to go and eat. Familiar. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to go like y'all trying, y'all trying to get some bigotry. You gotta be out. You gotta be heading to the outlet malls, Cornelia, to to go to Cracker Barrel. You're not gonna be going out of your way to yeah. go to that Cracker Barrel. Yeah, it's one. It's one in Vegas too. Like right, right off, not right off the strip, but off the highway past the strip. Like there's one off there too. So if you ever in Vegas, get that young Cracker Barrel up. I be missing Vegas, and then when I get to Vegas, I be like, Never Why I come here? here? I, every time, every time Why? I get to Vegas, I be like. Never mind. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Like it's a lot to get around in Vegas. It's just so much and so many people and everything's expensive. But it'd be fun though if you get like if you go to the right places, but it's a lot of energy. It is a lot of energy. Lot. I've, I've never had fun in Vegas like at a specific place. I only had fun in Vegas with the people that I was with. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. It wasn't yeah. one place I can go to. Like, oh man, every time I come here, I have a great time. It's it's really the people that you with that make Vegas fun as hell. Like, I've every, every just okay shows in Vegas. I feel like it's really hard to impress people who live in Vegas. I'd be like, like I saw Celine Dion Dion and Voice <laughs> to Men together at a buffet. You think this little <laughs> hot fifteen gonna move me? <laughs> right. You know, a hot fifteen. They'd be like, where the tigers at? Like. <laughs> 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 Set yourself on fire. It's not really part of my jokes. I just uh, it's a setup punchline type type of material. Jump in a pool of water, nigga. No. 
Not I what started I in Copperfield in Vegas, and I was a six-year-old child. I was like, man, magic is amazing. Like, I was really impressed by the magic. I know it ain't real, but it looked real to me. The shows yeah. are great. Um, it's, I love the perks that they give women. I suggest any woman that goes to Vegas just get soon-to-be bride, either on a tiara or a sash. <laughs> they will give you your own table, your own everything. You ain't got to be getting married to nobody. But them clubs is going to hook you and your girlfriends up. And I promise you, I don't think there'll be another time I go to Vegas without that sash on. And I might bring my husband with me. And I'll be like, I don't know this man. <laughs> but they do. They be hooking it up. It's the best. Uh, that's actually a great idea. That's that's a great idea. I would love it's, it's know, the to do that and document. You got to document that next time you do it, Angel. That would be hilarious. It's the, I mean, they did, they took care of us. We had free bottles the whole night. It was actually my bachelorette party, but they didn't like, they only knew cause I had the bride to be sash on. And so club promoters were hitting us, like hitting us up every night. Y'all should come here. And then y'all should come here. It's only good when you get into the clubs for free, because when you have to pay, they mm -hmm. charge astronomical prices. So if you don't want to pay that, it's also good to just people watch because especially if you go to a club with black folk, cause black people, especially black women, they love to dress in stuff before their body is actually ready. And so it's always nice to see what's going to happen. Like women who you can tell are working on their bodies and they're just like, fuck it, I'm ready. And they'll put on the stocking unitard where it's just covering up their nipples and like a little patch on their cooch. And they'll just be walking up into the club and it is like the funnest thing. Just, just the cooch, just boop. This is a hilarious like verb. Cooch. <laughs> And there'd be like tons of women. Oh, there'd be women that you can tell have never been out. They've just only ushered at church. And that's all they got is their <laughs> usher clothes. And that's what they look like. They got on flat loafers and a button down shirt. Yeah. <laughs> have y'all been uh, auditioning? Anybody been going on auditions? I've had Zoom auditions, but not in person. I do hear people have an in-person commercial now. So that's starting to, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, just Zoom, theatrical, and uh, commercial. I did a in person, person callback today. It was the weirdest thing. Um, the guy was on, um, there was one guy under the tent controlling two IMACs and the camera. He had me slate. And then, like, the, the director and I guess the other casting director and producer, they were all on Zoom. They had me slate. And literally when I auditioned, when I submitted my audition, I had the cam camera close on my mouth and I smiled and showed my grill and I started singing Lovely Day. That was the whole audition. They had me do that again. And then they was like, yeah, let's do another song. What's your go-to What's your go-to song when you're out with the fellas? You know, you had a couple drinks, you want to have a good time. I was like, y'all going to laugh at it. They said, no, 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 what is it? And I was like, it's Kelly Clarkson, Since You've Been Gone. And they had me do Kelly Clarkson Since You've Been Gone, like I was at karaoke. So if I don't get that... Huh? Can you sing? I can hold a note. I can hold a note. Well, she mean like, can you sing right now? Like, do what right you now. do for the people. That too. Absolutely. No, no, uh, no, no. I'm not. Oh, I'm no I mean, why I'm can't not, you ask? If you're not gonna sing, 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 Sing. Okay. All right, let me let me let me let me let me set the expectation. I can't sing this song, okay? And I also mix up the verses because I, I don't remember it without the guidance. So here we you go. Don't care I about started off like this. I hear the judge. Here's the thing. We started off friends. It was cool, but it was all pretend. Yeah, yeah. Since you've been gone. You're doing great. You're doing great. I'll never hear you say, I just want to be with you. <laughs> I guess you never felt that way. But since you've been gone. That was great. Yo, Tahir did that in Vegas at a karaoke party we did. We turned it upside down. All them black people, all black people have seven white songs that they love. And that Kelly Clarkson oh. song is one of them. Since you've been I, yeah. 
Kelly Clarkson yeah. top tier. That's my oh, favorite oh. song. Always go. Oh. Now, since y'all peer pressure me, y'all should peer pressure John A to do anything. Right, hey, let's go. Face off. John A. John A. John A. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, ready yes, to. Yes, you see, no, yes, yes, was ready. She was like, I have. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, then, and then Zaynab next. That's not going to happen. Zaynab, Angel, too. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Come on, girl. Bag lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragging all the bags like that. I guess nobody ever told you. All you must hold on to is you, is you. Is you one day he gon' say you cried in my space? Hey, girl. One day he gon' say you cried in my space, and one day I'm he out. gonna say you cried in my space, and one day he gon' say you cried in my space. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. Angel, your turn, Angel. Let's, Let's go, go. Johnny. Oh. Let's go, Johnny. I don't have a song. Is the problem, Angel? You sing a song. Do whatever the Lord laid on your heart. He ain't laid nothing. Lord laid something have... on her heart so she could do the thing for the people. I don't. I really, honestly, don't have a song. You got sing some Shaka Khan's. Mm. It's been a long I time. Think. Hold on. What's that? Mm. Oh God, Shaka's high. Mm. You ain't got no kind of feeling inside. Mm. I don't remember the words. <laughs> Do the melody. I got something that I'm Something, something, home. You refuse to put anything, something, something. Do, 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 oh. do, 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 I know this part. Do, 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 Showing up, do your good. Everybody, tell me something good. Tell me that you love me. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Hey, yeah, that's what I got. Okay, okay, Cornelia. What are the words? Nigga came in. A car hit on I 90. Three casualties. <laughs> hey, Damn, that's that one. Two weeks ain't I? Casualty on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Who made you go into doing uh, news? What, what made you decide to do news? They called me and asked me if I wanted to do it. That was just it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, they called me and asked me if I wanted to do it. That was just it. I was hosting, doing Afterbus. I was doing a lot of podcasts, you know, online hosting and whatnot, stand up. The recruiter saw my reel floating around Twitter one day and she called me. She was like, hey, have you thought about new news? I was like, no. She was like, we'll just come up and interview and then we'll see. I went up there, did an interview, left. I was like, nah, that's not for me. Uh, I'm not going to spend two, three years up there doing that. And then they, they got it down to a year and that was it. I was like, all right. Wow. Moved and came right back. <laughs> he said, that was fine. I was like, you know what? That was good. Because I didn't care about traffic. They were like, we really hope that you learn to care more about traffic. I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was fun. And then I was like, traffic. Like, are you just watching maps? And, <laughs> yeah. and you literally said, oh, watching oh, maps. You literally bad. just watching that. the roads. That's it. Uh, no. But Cornelia, do you have to have a skill or does somebody write the script for you? You write it yourself. 
you have to you have to create your own maps there's a system but you have to all the maps you see you have to put in the accidents you have to put in the lingo you have to create them all the graphics create your script go up there do your hits come back and create a new set because you know traffic changes every five minutes so you literally doing that the whole morning show oh wow Wow. Well, what was, song are you going to sing, Cornelia, though? What song, though? I'm not singing no song. Sing a song, Cornelia, so we can no. see another side of you. We can do well riding on the she street. Said, no. You know what? I'll sing uh, Senor Don Gato. When I was in fifth grade, we had to sing Senor Don Gato for our fifth grade assembly. <clears throat> that the man got a cat? Yep. <clears throat> Zaynab, you want to join in? No. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> I just was trying to show that I understood a little bit of Espanol. Uh, it was fifth grade. <laughs> oh, Senor Don Gato was a cat on a high red roof. Don Gato sat. He was there to read a letter. Meow, meow, meow. Where the reading light was better. Meow, meow, meow. Something, 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 something. That's all I know. I don't know the Bars. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Z. Give us something, Z. Guys, come on. She for the players. Okay. She for the players. I swear to God, she for the players. You can tell the way she did it. She, she gave in too fast. No, lower your expectations drastically. <laughs> I'm not about to play you at all. I just, I'm a team player. Um, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Bang. Out came the sun, it dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. I, I appreciate you it. for joining in, Zaynab. <laughs> he <laughs> look mad. <laughs> My baby love that song. <laughs> kid, all right, kid. Come on, kid. No, guys, I couldn't. I couldn't. Please, a little more. Come on, more. do that BB and CC one line. Come on, do that BB and CC one line. Come on, do that BB and CC one line. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I lose all control and something takes over me. In a day, it was so amazing. It's all that I say, I want you to stay with me by your side. I swallow my pride, your love is so sweet and it knocks me off of my, oh, 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 oh yeah. Can't explain why your love, it makes me weak. Yeah! Oh, oh, I try hard to fight it. No way can I deny it. Your love's so sweet. Uh, Touch me off my feet, my feet, my feet. I guess. Oh. That song is way longer than you realize. When you do it on karaoke, you be like, okay, bro, it's like three minutes left. It is. It is long. It's too long for karaoke. Yes. No. Uh, yeah, it's back. What do they keep coming back in? <laughs> keep coming back, Johnny, like Coco. We get it, Coco. SWV was taking a picture for the album or some magazine in Harlem, and I was just walking and I met SWV. I was scared of Coco's nails because they were so long. Really? What? Me and my mom was walking from 125th Street, and I was like, that's SWV. I was like five or six years old, and they let me take a picture. We ain't got it no more, though. My mom didn't keep pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the memory. Remember, right here and right here. We had, uh, we had Coco on Aska one time. She told us that Michael Jackson gave her the, gave them the human nature sample for free because he oh. liked them. Ooh, wow. I wow. was like, he did right. what? She was like, he was just like, I like y'all, man. Huh, y'all can have it. He wow. seemed like he was a very generous man. He did. Yo, somebody who told me the other day, I don't know if this is true. Somebody told me that Justin Timberlake's Justified album, Pharrell wrote and produced to give to Michael Jackson, but he had the court stuff. And that Justin Timberlake should thank Michael Jackson for his entire career, his entire solo career. Mm. Really? You heard that, Cornelia? Yeah, I heard that. But I heard that Michael, Michael, he, yeah, he had the court stuff, but he was like, nah, I don't really want it. 
So he kind of turned it down. Really? Can you imagine Michael Jackson singing those songs? They would have hit way harder. Mm -hmm. Senorita? Man. Have you guys have you guys ever seen that YouTube video with Michael Jackson hearing R. Kelly's ignition for the first time? Ignition yeah. reading? Uh, oh, it's what happened? That's a real thing. Is it real? I need to pull it up. Hold on. We mix who is this? He's great. Like it was it was <laughs> he didn't know who R. Kelly was. He was like, who is this? And he just ignition was playing and Michael was like, oh, yeah. Mm, ah. it, I mean, it was, this is not a sketch. This is a real thing. <laughs> I'm weak because I believe I could fly. It was definitely out before. I'm like, you say but but I, no, but when you Mike, you might not know about R. Kelly. You are Michael Jackson. Right. Right. Janet Jackson didn't know what hot Cheetos were. She was like, "What? What's this poor snack you guys like?" No, y'all know. No, Mike knew who R. Kelly was because that was R. Kelly wrote for everybody at that point. It was he was already R. Kelly. He was like full urinating by then, so they knew. Wow. <laughs> full blown grown man business. Bladder yeah. full. Okay. Full <laughs> full bladder by then. So yeah. since we're on the topic with ladies and no, fellas, the video, would you, would you ever let somebody go to shower you? It's Michael Jackson dancing to Ignition. And oh, let me, let me watch he's this. over 10 okay. years old in the car. He says, who is this? And the guy says, it's R. Kelly. He's like, he's great. <laughs> <laughs> we got, uh, I'm definitely going to listen to that. Uh, John May said, uh, which one of y'all let somebody pee on y'all? Listen, I already got a leaky bladder, so I'm already peeing on myself. I don't need nobody to add to it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like to hear, um, Kevin, you don't, you don't, you haven't taken a shower with somebody and then pee. I have peed in the shower. I might shower. have got splattered. I might have been like pee hit the bottom and got on my foot, but it wasn't like a sexual thing. It was just like, girl, are you peeing? She like, no. Nah. Wait for the golden shower. That seems a little bit absurd. I, no, no, I, I definitely. I've got Farron before, like, like while she was, her back was turned to me and she was cleaning up front. And I was just like, <laughs> and towed her calf up. And she didn't know because the water was still hitting, but she was like, she smelled it. She's like, are you peeing on me? I was like, yeah, that was me. Oh, the fact that she smelled it mean you don't be drinking no water. Just be drinking all pop. We, no, no, we had asparagus for dinner that night. That's all it was. Oh, asparagus to make that piss right. Yeah. Make yeah. Like, and, uh, and, and golden crisp, super honey golden or honey smacks it makes your pee smell weird. Really? The cereal? Yeah, I've said that a lot of times, and nobody else goes with me, so I think it might just be me. <laughs> nobody else ever really <laughs> goes with me on that. I think it's just me. What did you say, John A? I was just imagining the smell of the cereal, and I'm like, that I can see how that could. Yeah, that 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 cereal has a very distinct smell. Wait, wait. People are saying, who who pees in the shower? And everybody don't pee in the shower. Everybody ain't pee. I mean, not like regularly, not but you ain't never been in the shower and 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 it was like, yo, I need it. I'm not getting out of here. I just feel like the the way, moment the water hits your body, it's almost like involuntary. Like yes. Man. Like, yes. Who's trying to be so polite? Like this is like a human part of the body that we can't even control. Your body it's warm. Incredible. The warm water tells your body just go and let that go. And the pee just you don't even feel like you have to pee until the, right. the shower be like, go on pee. You be like, all right. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing to get out and go all the way to the toilet. It's, it's and then it's, yeah, get the floor all wet. Is that not yeah. like Y'all are men. Y'all can stand up and pee. As a woman, I have to sit there. I'm not about to get that toilet seat all wet after I didn't right. wet myself in the shower. No, I'm about to piss in that that shower. It's gonna go down the drain. And how this is all the same pee. pipes? That's the only time we get to pee standing up. The only, <laughs> only time. I feel like everybody does it except for Camelia. I feel like Camelia is silently judging us because she's the only. Oh, no, I'm watching the Michael Jackson uh video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm here, but I'm watching the video. Huh? Uh, no, no, no. There's no judgment. That's why. <laughs> oh no, I be I be in the shower. Hey, I do what I gotta do, but I'm watching this video. Though. This is why she works for the news station. She could not wait. She said, "I got some shit to investigate." Right? <laughs> yeah. When people say they don't pee in the shower, I just don't buy it. I don't think nobody's that good of a person that they get all the way out. Right. I don't know either. And if they are, they should relax. 
Yeah, I pee in the backyard just to let animals know whose house it is. I be peeing, man. <laughs> what about pools? I don't pee in my pool. I pee in the ocean. If I'm in the ocean, I pee. I be like, well, fish be peeing in here. Everybody be peeing here, but not in pools. There's too many people close to you in pools. But I mean, that's the point. It's like cat, it's like um, chlorine in a pool, but it's no chlorine in the ocean. Yeah, but the ocean already like super salty. I feel like you wouldn't know. Yeah, maybe. Me and Tahir was in the ocean in Hawaii. I peed. He was right there. He didn't even know. I mean, fish be duty in, in the ocean. Yeah. It's By the way, Tahir stuff. was in the ocean and he can't swim and he was way out there. He was like, I was just going with the vibe. I was like, sir, if you get out of this floaty, you are dead. He was way out there, and I was like, he was like, man, hey, Kel, hey, man, you know I can't swim. I was like, hey, what are you doing out here then? One of the first times I ever got drunk was in the Bahamas for my uh, best friend's wedding. I was in my younger 20s, and they were out further in the ocean, and I can swim, but I, I didn't know, because I didn't know how to drink, I had drank way too much. Like, I didn't know I was about to be vomiting for the rest of the day, and when I got halfway to them, and I was starting to sink, I, in my head, thought, this is how white people die. Like, I realized well, this is how drunk white folk be dying. They don't be knowing. You can't be drinking and swimming in the ocean at the same time. It don't work. <laughs> Luckily, the Lord had his hand on me, and I didn't die. But I knew. I said, I now know this is what how it happens. You just don't be knowing. You can't be drinking that many Mai Tais <laughs> and not die. <laughs> I be doing stuff like that all the time. When I was on the Truth Tour, we had uh, the Vans Warped Tour. It was like the rock, the rock tour. We had went to like this, this gully, and we like were doing like like they were doing like base jumping, like in this and off the cliff into the water. And I was like, man, I can't let these white people see that I'm scared to do this shit. So I just did it. I just jumped in that water. It was like a thirty foot drop, and I can't swim. And I was just like, I don't care. Somebody gonna save me, and I'm here to talk about it. Did somebody save you? I came up, but yeah, somebody came over and like like helped me get over to the to the to the um But to hear you real buoyant, so you gonna come to the top <laughs> buoyancy about your body. You wasn't going <laughs> Yo, to hear. I've I've seen you take a lot of ropes. Calling you a buoy is hilarious. <laughs> Damn it. But no, that wasn't shade. That was just like. Oh, no, yes, it was my black queen. Yeah, don't try to no. Don't try to Zaynab. Don't do that. Just let it be what it's gonna be. Don't, don't, oh no, no, brother. That wasn't. That wasn't it shade. Wasn't, that was just. I was. I was clearly articulating how you're shade. He said you real buoyant out here. <laughs> he called me a kickball. <laughs> Cornelia, did he say it? Did he say who's this? I don't know. I probably tuned out and was focusing on that video in my head. I'm sorry. I heard buoyant and I. Right. Oh, she's talking about in the video. Did, did you hear Michael say, who is this? Oh, yeah. He said at the top, he was like, who's this? And then he was jamming and then they just show him in the back looking weird. Why did Michael do that to himself? Can we really talk about this? I mean, I don't think we'll ever know why he did it to himself, but yeah, we can talk about he it. He literally had no nose. Like it was, it was gone. Can you you want to hear something crazy, Cornelia? I loved Michael Jackson so much that I used to practice. I thought I was going to be married to him as much as I, I like that. I was, you know, too young for him. I thought I used to practice that his nose would fall off while we were sleeping together. And what would I do? Like my reaction. Say, <laughs> man, what was the reaction? What? Was it shock? Were you gonna be like, "Oh, my bad, babe"? Like, oh. no, I was gonna keep a straight face. It was gonna be cold, like the like like the dead face. Like, it's okay. Let's put this back. We well, you know this happens <laughs> when you sleep rough, honey. You know this happens. I'm so foolish. Like, oh my nose. Oh my nose. <laughs> But they say Michael back, like they say behind closed doors, his voice is not high. Joseph did that to them. So if you know Michael, no, no, Michael, then he's going to be like, yo, get my nose. Like, yo, my nigga, my nose, man. <laughs> oh. Wait, man. You, never, you never practice how he, how you would react if he was like, I want your nose. No, that never came into my imagination. <laughs> no, he just there and like, oh, he did Zainab had practice. Uh, she had her. I, I'm gonna go with the straight face because I feel like he'll probably be embarrassed anyway. So I don't want to add to that. So I'm gonna just be like, and the, you picked it up. It was small. <laughs> so let me just. Let me just back on. 
sleep, sleep with the adhesive on the side table. No, we got this. Don't even, you don't even work. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. house, baby. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. That's real love. Oh. Right there. That's real love. Jackson, I love that is real love. That is real love. Don't you even don't even think about it. I, I had a feeling it was gonna happen eventually. And it's cool. I, I already love you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not that good of a wife. I've been like, nigga, that's why your nose fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Got issues, you know, going into it, he got issues. You just got to <laughs> uh, You cannot use that against him in an argument, Angel. <laughs> I was going to fake it, Angel. I was going to have something to patch up his skin when move the wig when it came across. I was going to make sure he was right whenever he needed to be right. We got you. <laughs> on, you baby. We get to the love a black Man, woman. That was Thank moving you. in with a first aid kit to make sure <laughs> once you start falling apart, I, I already got you. Don't worry. I got some God. <laughs> it wasn't even like sexual. Like our marriage was never sexual. It was always just like, I need to be next to him and I need to help him. That's I, I should have fantasized about being his assistant, but for some reason I needed to be <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, Just imagine Zaynab on the swings, like, you know what? If his nose ever fell off, I would be right there for him. <laughs> I wouldn't even let three minutes go by. I had that nose right. I would be no, not three minutes. The nose is dead. You got to put it on immediately. <laughs> the nose is dead already, Zaynab. That's why I fell off. Yeah, you got to put it on immediately. <laughs> uh -oh. No. You can you imagine being in the bed? You wake up in the middle of the night to get some water, and the nose is just on the pillow. Like, oh, he done fell asleep. His nose. Yeah. <laughs> just put it. Let on. me put this in the refrigerator. Let it. Oh, let it. Let <laughs> uh, it keep it safe. Cool down. Jane asked the question about pee, but she never answered if she would let somebody pee on her. You let somebody. Pee 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 pee. No. But if it was an accident, I wouldn't freak out. I'll just be like, <laughs> you know. But with. I wouldn't voluntarily let it happen. But what's the accident? Like you could wake up that sleeping accident. from sleep and the pee is on you or? Yeah, or like. Yeah. That is assault. Sometimes people be sleep peeing, you know, like it, you just never know what people are going through. That's what quarantine has taught me to lower my expectation. <laughs> I need to put somebody nose back on and I won't allow it right <laughs> that's where I draw the line nose falling off I prepared for that I already got a plan of action pee I just that means to yeah, I would prefer pee over a nose falling off I would prefer waking up with pee on me than a nose on me gotcha so you mean they peed on themselves and it got on you a little got on me okay <laughs> not not intentionally stood over you and let it rip if I was asleep I, I wouldn't be tripping like that. But if I was like, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> How well are you sleeping that you that, that pee is not bothering you? <laughs> Johnny, if you woke up and up in the in the pee is on top of your head, that <laughs> on my head? I thought you meant like my lower body. No. Nah. <laughs> my lower body. My head. That's a different story. Upper body? Hell no. I thought we was talking about. Oh, so you care. If he pee on your knees, you you ain't tripping. You pee on your shoulders. Hey, man, this is my shoulder. You can't pee on this. What are you doing up there? You maniac? I mean, I would be so mad if the person I was sleeping with decided to pee on me in the bed on purpose. Now we got to throw the mattress out. I said if it was an accident, it was okay. On yeah. purpose? No. Then we asked about if it was on purpose, and you really thought about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He invented it. Yeah, the direction, the trajectory. I'm surprising myself with some of the stuff I said I would never do. So, like, I've learned to just be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's so many things. Hey, that is real. Never. Hey, John May, that's real. People be on the internet lying. What you accept in real life and what you say you accept on the internet is two different things. Two different things. Listen, mm -hmm. I, I, I peed on Farron outside of the shower on accident because I used the bathroom in my dream. Which I don't encourage anybody to do. Oh, I've done that. You can't control I've it to hear them pieces in your dream. You're feeling great. But you don't always have that dream. You think that you know better in your dream. 
Because I should have known better. I flew to the bathroom. That should have been an indicator <laughs> that this isn't real life. That I flew right. in here. <laughs> and then I was peeing for what felt like 10 minutes. And right. then at like minute 10, I was like, I am peeing forever. And that's when I woke <laughs> up and I was like, fuck, it happened again. The most embarrassing part is waking her up be like, hey, hey, let me flip this mattress out. Oh, one more time. What you care? Yeah. One more time. <laughs> when I see mattresses where people have thrown them out, it got like seven or eight different pee stains. I'm like, how how many times did they pee? It like, ain't something that you hope to do, but like, it it hasn't happened. It, I'm gonna tell you. And, and I see people saying he was drunk. I wasn't drunk. I, when I'm drunk, I'm 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 I never have. I was completely sober when I went to sleep. It was just a good ass restaurant, and I had like, a couple glasses of wine. <laughs> and I flew to the bathroom. The last time I peed on myself in the dream, I was pumping gas, mm. and I woke up and I I had pissed all across myself. And we we lived in this house, and we've only lived here for four years, so that tells Angel, me how you. You peed on yourself in the last four years? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Mark, it's like four weeks. Talk about Angel. <laughs> here's, a, here's the worst part about peeing on yourself as an adult. You you can't like your when you was a kid, your parents would clean it up, you go sleep on the couch. You go change the bottoms, go sleep on the couch. As the adult, you now now we gotta get this this Lysol and this towel and we gotta hit this spot with this four oh nine. We gotta we gotta do we gotta do that and then we gotta put the towel down to, to let it air dry and just get the other get the spare comforter, lay it on top of it. We're gonna remember to wash that in the morning. It's it's a whole thing when you the adult. You, this is because you don't have a mattress cover. We have a mattress cover because we have children. So the kids yeah. are pissing too. So now, well, we got a mattress cover now. We have it now. Yeah. We learned that the second time. Uh, we got here. Aww. Yeah, 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 yeah. So between here, me and my stuff kids, you can sleep with. Stuff it doesn't really happen. Uh, it's only happened twice in my adult yeah, life. You don't, you don't have to be, you don't have to be a man about it. There's a lot of people who struggle with incontinence. If you have to wear, you know, they're big boy panties. I mean, draws. That's fine. Yes. They do. I'm about they to get a brand deal with one. I'll get you some. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I haven't <laughs> peed on myself at night because I pee so much in the middle of the night. I have to wake up and pee like two or three times a night almost really? every time. Oh, that would ruin my sleep. Oh. Uh, Are you pregnant? I wake up like two times a night to, to uh, urine, but I drink a lot of water. So I drink a lot of water. Before that, a lot of juice. I be peeing at night. Man, listen, uh, it is the thing. worst. You, you getting up that much? You gotta get. You gotta get your own bed. We can't be sleeping the same bed. You gonna be moving that much? That's that's Melissa too much. Sleeps really hard though. She don't never. I, she don't even never know that I'm getting up and going to the bathroom. That's yeah, yeah. That's too much movement, man. You gotta. And get we got that purple bed. mattress. The purple mattress. When you move around, it don't. It don't move. The other side doesn't move that much. All right, you're not getting a brand deal on this one, okay? You can save your ass. <laughs> Low key though, it really is a good mattress. Like I say for the podcast, but it really is a good mattress. Like we were thinking about getting one, but I was like, well, I don't know nobody that really got one yet. We got nah, for real to hear. It is a great mattress. It what really is it is. like? A, um, Tempur-Pedic or like um, memory foam? What is it? It's like, see, I'm about to go into the ad. It's not like memory foam. It's a, it's a new, uh, a NASA rocket scientist. It's a, it's like a mesh thing. It's like, they're like hexagons and they're layered like separately. So the bed doesn't, like when you lay down, it doesn't sink. It like redistributes your weight. So it's super comfortable, um, but there's well, not a lot of movement. Bed, it'll just get on the box spring. It'll go right through. We don't even have box springs. That's how strong the mattress oh. is. It's just, oh. the bed is just the mattress. And it has that little pillow top, you know, kind of like a muffin top thing. I don't know what yeah. that's called. You know what I'm talking about? That little like yeah. puffy piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah, there's awesome. no box spring. It's just it's just the frame of the bed and the purple mattress. Now, is it small enough to fit in a mattress cover though? Because I can't get a mattress without a mattress cover. Can do it they have king size mattress, mattress covers? Yeah, they oh, have yeah. King size mattress. Yeah, it's, it should fit. It's a regular size. It's not a. It's just a king size mattress. It's not anything special. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice, but I don't want to ruin something like that. Nah, you get the mattress cover, you'll be all right, Angel. Listen, it's not just me. Amar be up in there pissing too. Sometimes he be pissing through his diaper. No, well, he's and a baby he, though. Nah, but sometimes his piss be smelling real strong <laughs> and be pissing me off. Be real. I be like, didn't you drink beers? Like, what happened? Why your piss smell like this? 
Does he sleep I'm with y'all, Angel? Which yes, huh. yes. How old that is. Oh my God! Let me tell you what that. That's what, when people ask me, "Do I want another kid?" Those are the things that nobody thinks about. A baby in the bed with you. You know how many times I used to roll over and almost suffocate my child? You can't sleep good when the baby's in there. Oh, I, I don't roll over on a baby arm and stuff. Hey, 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 why are you making that face? What happened? Because I know I would be that. I'll be irresponsible. I already know it. I already know. I'm accident prone, clumsy. I thought she had already did it because she was like, well, you said I would roll yeah. over on a baby and accidentally kill him. John Lane was like... <laughs> Exactly. You know, I don't have no, no, my no babies over here. Yeah, not now. <laughs> Man, my kids used to fall out the bed. You ain't never felt like a terrible parent to your kid fall out the bed. Luckily, we had carpet, but it was some tough days. In the early parts of their life, luckily, they don't remember. Yeah, it was, kids are resilient. They are super yeah. resilient. They're, it was touch and go there for a second. <laughs> if you hear that flesh slap the hardwood floor, you like, damn. Now I got to wake up to make sure you alive. You hear that? You're like, I knew I should have put you in the middle. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> it's growing pain. It's growing pain. You'll be all right. Should have put you in the middle. <laughs> and all my kids light skin, so they bruise easily. I'll be like, everybody gonna be asking me what happened to you. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, you made uh, somebody in the comments made a good point. You were clowning me and Angel. But uh, you don't want me to bring up the, the the backpack joke, do you? I just saw it in the comments, and I was hoping nobody was looking in the comments. Yeah. It's in the backpack. It's Wait, what happened? Backpack. What happened, guys? It's in the backpack. Oh, he took the dookie? You took a whole dookie in the backpack? You shit it in a backpack? No, I... To hear, I ain't never doing Zoom with the homies again. This is, this is not a welcome place. <laughs> when I was in college, uh, about to marry Melissa. I ate some hot Rocky Road ice cream that she told me not to eat. We got in the bus. It was bumper to bumper traffic for an hour. I was able to hold my bowel movement for 53 minutes of the hour. By the time <laughs> we got to about three red lights left, my body started to think that we were close enough. <laughs> to the bathroom and by the last second to last red light, I was holding my backpack and I was like, I'm about to do it on myself. I'm gonna do it in this backpack. But the backpack was like $40. And I was like, if I do it in this backpack, I don't have another $40. So I'm, I just can't go the rest of the year without this backpack. I was wearing some windbreaker, windbreakers, pants, and some black windbreakers and some uh, gray drawers. And, um, and I, I was holding it and holding it, and then my muscles literally just gave up. They 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 revolted. <laughs> I was trying. I was. I never stopped not holding it. They just stopped responding to <laughs> the action. And I I literally was sitting there. I was like 20, 21, 20 or twenty one, and I sat there and and it it just happened. And Melissa was like. <laughs> Cause she had told me to go to the bathroom while we were in Seattle, we were going to Tacoma. She's like, go to the bathroom. You're not gonna be able to hold it. And I was like, I can hold it. She was like, it's gonna be traffic. And I'm like, I'm good. And there was traffic. And so I was she had hot. Tried? Oh, go ahead. She, no, she fell asleep. She was like, okay. She went to sleep on the bus ride. And when she woke up, I was like, you know how you be like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like this for like 20 minutes. Yeah. I was just sitting there and I was just like, oh, like, I don't want to get too graphic, but my my butt was closed. And then my butt was like, man, we getting off. I'm, I'm off. I'm getting off work. I, I said, I'm going to be here till five. It's 503. I got to pick my kids up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and punch out. And my butt just opened. And I was literally sitting here like, oh my God, 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 oh my God. It woke, it woke Melissa up and she took the opportunity to gloat. I wanted I want everyone to know in that moment where she could have she could have put my nose back on. She, <laughs> she took the opportunity to be like, I, I thought you could hold it. You said <laughs> that you could hold it. You said that. You said that. So I had to go into the bus. 
Oh, snap. I was on a public bus full, full commuter bus. I had to like go to the bathroom and when I stood up, it kind of fell to the bottom of my windbreaker. Oh, yeah. The windbreaker, you know, they, they're closed at the bottom, you know? So the taper, the taper kind of kept it at the top of my sock. That's good. Yeah, I went to the bathroom in there. I had threw my drawers away. I threw my socks away. <laughs> then I put my shoes back on. I had to drive to my apartment with no 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 drawers on, <laughs> take a shower, and then take Melissa home. And she still married me after that. We weren't even married yet. That's a good woman. That's that is a good woman. Okay. But my favorite part of the story, he said, my butt just opened up. <laughs> <laughs> Parted ways. Open Listen, it was like, bro, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I gotta pick my kids up. If oh. I don't leave now, I won't get there. Oh, it was man. Worse, man. That is that it is was the worst. And all I had to do was listen to her. She told me along the way, like three different times. She told me, don't eat the ice cream. She told me go to the bathroom at the dorm. She told me to go to the bathroom at the subway. And along the way, I, t I thought I knew better than her. And, and that's when I started listening to her more earlier. That's the often. problem with America. They don't listen to black women all the time. We tell them to go to the bathroom and get rid of their shit. Okay? So instead, they have to that, that, was, that America, <laughs> America don't listen to black women. We be saying, go take you, go doo doo, get rid of your shit. And then, so instead, y'all got to throw away your drawers and your socks. Where if you just would have went the subway bathroom, the bath, the, the key was on a long spoon. And when you, you know, when it's on a long spoon, the bathroom ain't clean. And I was like, nope, I can't do it. Your booty wasn't clean. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could hold it. I thought I could hold it. It was the traffic because usually that ride's only like 35 minutes, but there was an accident. And he made it an hour, and I it, just it was an accident, all right. Did you like wash up in the, with the with the bathroom soap? Nah, because it was powder. I just took the L. Listen, you you, at twenty one, you shouldn't be getting new nicknames like Doo Doo Care. Like at twenty one, you should have all the nicknames around the Doo Doo that you gonna have. You got Doo Doo Care at twenty one years old. Low key, the only good thing about that 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 became my first closer when I was first starting in comedy. That that <laughs> joke was undefeated because it was just I just told the whole story and acted it out. That's the only good thing that came out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Listen, this cool. is one. We are about ten minutes from the end of the show. Um, we uh, start with the closings and uh, the thank yous. And if you got anything coming up, you go ahead and let them know. If anybody donated to your cash app, you can let them know now as well. Um, and let's go, uh, Jane, uh, Cornelia, Zainab, Angel, Kev. All right. Well, um, I have, what do I have coming up tomorrow? What well, we all have, the Keep Your Distance comedy show hopefully you got your tickets i think that's probably the last live show for the year for me um stay tuned for uh some upcoming series that i've been working on during this time car therapy and the rehab sounds like I, like my life is i know therapy and rehab that's a lot going on but yeah um look out for those um and I would like to thank the following Yasubik Santos, thank you so much. Demario LeBaron, thank you. Amanda Brown Smith, thank you. Kristen, thank you. Ayana Nairi, thank you. Felicia Craighead, thank you. Shanika, thank you. Jessica Wright, thank you all. Appreciate the love tonight. And thank you to here for having us. Your name is so wonderful. Y'all. Really it's a bedtime stories. Thank you. I'm going to work on it. Speak that was very soothing. It Speak was. It <laughs> was very soothing. Um, is it my turn? Is me? Yeah, let's go, Kanig. Uh, to, of course, like like Johnny said, we will be performing tomorrow. So that's going to be fantastic. 
I, I also have some outside shows because y'all know we perform it on like park benches and and in fields <laughs> now. So and they've all been fantastic. I'm all for the outdoor comedy. So I have uh, two shows Saturday and Sunday in the Magic Castle parking lot. Uh, hit my Instagram if you want to purchase tickets. It's a drive-in show. My Instagram is at Cornelia, like Kenny and Ophelia. I have a show on Sunday in a park, I think Pan Pacific Park, and one on Zoom as well. So y'all can find me outside, literally and figuratively. All right, there it is then. What you guys say now? Um, well, first, thank you um, for having me on Zooming with the homies. This was wonderful. I had a good time with everybody tonight. Of course, like John May and Cornelia said, I hope that everybody that is watching um, tunes in to Keep Your Distance Comedy because you're going to see all of our lovely faces again telling possibly polished jokes. Um, <laughs> Thank you everyone who sent me a cash app. I really appreciate you guys. I'm gonna get me a nice a nice dinner on Zooming with the homies. Um, I am actually headlining the Columbus Zoo November 6th and 7th. So if you're in Columbus, Ohio, uh, I think there's still tickets available though. They're like a special series, but um, I'll be there. So November 6th and 7th, if you're in Columbus, Ohio. Um, That's still there now? Huh? You really you really headlining the zoo? At at a zoo, yeah, at the Columbus Zoo, an aquarium. Uh huh. They do a oh, special wow. comedy series there at night. The shows are at night, eight o'clock p.m. That um, is super dope. You win for for best show at a at an interesting place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The animals gonna be like, man, she is killer. I hope so. <laughs> I, hope, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um. I do a podcast um, every week. It's called Honest Tea with Z, H-O-N-E-S-T-E-A with Z, everywhere where you listen to podcasts. Also Wednesdays, 1 p.m. Pacific time, I do a live show on Facebook and in, in YouTube called Just Friends. It's a relationship podcast. And on all social media platforms, you can find me at Zainab Johnson, Z-A-I-N-A-B Johnson. And once again, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pacific time, right? Yes. Keep your distance comedy show. You will see all of us as well as Shantae Waynes, Alicia Cooper. Did I leave anybody out? Mm. And Tony Baker, who is not here. <laughs> Tanya. Is Tanya Baker gonna be there? Tanya Baker is not booked. I ain't I ain't seen her set. I only, I only know Tony. I ain't seen Tanya yet. <laughs> She's too new. <laughs> yeah. What you got, Angel? Uh, to hear, as always, cousin, even though we are not related. Um, thank you for having me. Um, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to these lovely people who blessed me tonight. Clyde. Uh, Lorenda, Darrell, Simone, Diana, Jaquita, Jaquetta, excuse me, Raquel, Joy, Amanda, Demario, LeBaron, Ayana, Brittany, Kiara, Grace, Shamika, Jessica. Thank you guys so much. Um, as all the ladies said, we gonna be popping tomorrow at 7 p.m. Keep your distance comedy show. You can still get your tickets at kevonstage.com. I'm gonna be hitting you up, Johnny, to go over the set because I don't feel ready. Um, also, <laughs> I love the overexcited because you're nervous. Like, ah, I don't feel confident. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do not. This literally might be the last time I do stand up. No. Yeah, yeah, ever. In Girl, we should have promoted with that. You got to lead with that. No, but Angel's retirement show? Oh. I literally just had a revelation today. I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't do this ever again. And I'd be okay. I don't know. It's been a, it's been 11 years uh, of stand-up. I might be done. So, yeah, yeah make sure you come. I mean, <laughs> we all have quit and then came back. We'd be like, fuck this. And then we'd be like, and all right. ain't lying, Cornelia. When I bombed... And the, the I broke a chair. I was like, you know what? I don't mind working at Boeing. This is a great <laughs> place. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm for a bomb, but I feel like I might as well end while it's good and just be like, yeah, we did it. Um, as always, uh, I did the podcast with Kevin. Here's the thing. I'm on to hear his latest episode of Wording is Hard. I have a podcast with my husband. Is this going to cause an argument? I'm on the interwebs at that chick angel. And uh, yeah, that's that sounds about good. That's that's it. 
Thank y'all. Hey, Kev on stage, what you got for little mama? <laughs> Why couldn't you just treat me with respect? I <laughs> uh, want to thank Tahir for creating an amazing show, creating an amazing platform for comedians. Super dope uh, thing to come out of the, the uh, pandemic. And you really be doing it for eight hours a week on top of everything else you do. So kudos to you, man. It is really amazing thing. Uh, I think in our later years, we'll look back on this with fondness. Uh, come to Keep Your Distance Comedy, man. Learn some new comedians. Everybody here, they're just, they're just being funny off the cuff. When you see them do their stuff, they be funny because they practice it. And then when they come to your city, go see their shows, follow their podcasts, follow their social media. These are the best and brightest of comedy. So get your tickets, use uh, any of the ladies code uh, on, on their social. Don't use mine, use one of theirs or use to hears. Uh, show support to your people, tell somebody, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And to hey. hear, I also want to say, man, I really, really appreciate you for being so buoyant. <laughs> Remember when Zainab said that? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I was just about to tell to hear, have a good night. Thank you so much for it. Don't do that. <laughs> hear, before I get out of here, um, the, the, the popcorn world person, uh, if they're still watching, put, uh, I want you to reach out to me. I want some of your popcorn. Yeah, Kev, remember what you do do it on yourself? Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching right now. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we, we had like 30, 30, 100 people in here. We got 1,300 likes. If we can get a couple more likes before y'all get up out of here, that would be amazing. Um, I want to thank real quick. Uh, let me pull it up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I want to thank Victoria Lewis, LeBaron, Amanda, Janine, Shamika, Anthony, Jessica, J-Mo. Um, appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, as if everyone already said, please buy your ticket right now for the Keep Your Distance Comedy Show. You use my code MOBSTER, M-O-B-S-T-E-R. Um, all caps and that'll get $3 off your ticket. I would greatly appreciate it. Everybody's uh, contact info and all of the information is in the description of this video right now. So if you missed it when they said it, you can just tap the description at any point and see everything that they got going on. Get your tickets for the Keep Your Distance Comedy Show at KevOnStage.com right now. Shout out to the Rewatch Gang. Shout out to the More Mob. Uh, shout out to the More Mods who've been putting everything in the chat. And they also send me the description with everyone's contact info and all the stuff that you can find on them. Uh, shout out to them for that. I want to give a shout out to Latoya Davis. She gave a super chat. She said, ladies, best of luck tomorrow. I purchased my VIP ticket, but due to my deployment being pushed, I may not be able to uh, watch. So thank you so much for your support, uh, Latoya Davis. Um, <clears throat> and I want to encourage you guys, man, to tell a friend and tell a friend about the show. I just reached out with a, a link up with somebody that Le LeBaron hooked me up with. He's going to start producing uh, clips after the show. Uh, so we're going to have clips going every day so you get to see what oh, you're nice. um, And I'm only able, I didn't ask him to do that. He did like a couple just on his own, just just did it. And I was like, I I know this takes time because of how he does it. So I'm able to pay him from your donations because I don't want anybody just doing something like without any type of payment, man. People deserve to get paid. Nice, time. Like, you guys donate. This is going to the editor for that, that or the editor to damn it and that you scary. Like we trying to help each other get through this. So your donations do not go in vain. They're not just like supporting shoe habits, or anything like that. Um, and also shout out to all the guests that come on here and make waves like Kev on stage and Zaynab and Angel and Camelia and Jane, uh, Leslie Jones, you guys remember her? obviously from multiple things, but Leslie has really shown a lot of love and I'm happy to announce because the paperwork is done that I am the announcer of Leslie's new show, Supermarket Suite. Uh, hey! 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 That all came from her. She literally reached out to me and was like, nigga, do this real quick and let me see how you sound. And I was like, okay. And I did three variations. Like two days later, she was like, they're going to be hitting you up. And then they did. And then they hit my agent up. My agent hit me up today. Like, nigga, you been, you been working? I was like, hell yeah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I do a little something. <laughs> so shout That's out amazing. to you. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, but it's candy for it, man. Being able to help other people. And, you know, when these lessons come, being able to share it. So you guys are my, my, my tribe. I appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me and uh, all the support that you guys continue to show me and all my guests. 
um, take this, man. This is this is free love. This is free game. You're learning about comedians that you might have missed or they might not have been on your radar. Put them on your radar north. Follow everybody on the show. Support everybody on the show. And pull up tomorrow. Get your ticket right now at kevonstage.com. Use any one of the promo codes. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yo,